last we left off, you all had just uh, finished the interrogation stuff. You got all through that. Uh, you were released. You paid your fines. Um, and then you were trying to decide what the hell to do from there, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we had uh, an informative talk uh, after hours. So we are ready for the next day, I feel. All right. So you all are going to do what? You're standing before the judicial center right now of town. Uh, I'm going straight to the honeysuckle then. Okay. Damien checks his pockets and... Finds he is a, broke. <laughs> puts on a face of dismay as he walks towards the inn. <laughs> yes, I'm following everybody to the inn as well. Alright. So you all right. have not been into the honeysuckle yet. It's actually the honeyed suckle, not the honeysuckle. Can but... I go talk to the Templars? Yes, of course. I'm gonna walk into the, the building again, you know, with the Templars. Alright. Shit, I need to get my notes. Okay. Okay. Um, so, as I walk into the, the inn, I ask the, the temple. Templar, or not right, the temple, the, uh, juris, the judicial area. Yeah, the place with the jail with it. That mm -hmm. I was. I'm gonna say to the Templars that. I want to know more about Orin, and I wondered if they could call the um, call the guards and get the guards to tell if, tell me what's happened or whatever. They will respectfully and politely decline oh. and inform you that this is no matter for civilians and that you should uh, conduct your business within the walls of the city at your leisure while maintaining a uh, purposeful tact and discretion against getting involved in these kind of things is that okay is there anything my group of friends can do to help uh the templar you're speaking with will ponder for a moment and he'll tell you that uh he can think of nothing that civilians should be getting involved in it's our job to keep you all safe but please enjoy your day oh, got it... shut down is there any yeah? Is there anybody else who I could ask who would point me in the direction of some adventure? I'll say if you're looking for work, you can head to the um, glaring gaze. That is an adventurer's tavern. Sometimes there'll be work posted upon the bulletin there. That I ask him. Is there no way I can ask for the guards to come and tell me? Or is is that is this it? He'll shake his head in. Oh. Uh, a dec declaration of no. Okay. In that case, I'll, I'll turn around and I'll head towards my friend. All right. They are making a beeline towards the high end brothel. So gets walk there into first. the street. Huh? I said, who gets there first? Um, I'm not, I'm assuming that. Lee Gon is going to be the first one that walks through the door, but as you are progressing towards there, uh, it is... You all got down... Uh, it's probably around 6 p.m. now, um, and you will notice that the sun is beginning to creep down towards the sky... or the horizon. And the shadows grow long. And as you walk, the... people begin to change from merchants and you have your everyday you know folk that are going about their business to people of different attire you've got messengers and you've got people of um nightly report oh these are my kind of people you also find that the guards double But, uh, around 6.30ish, you will arrive at the doors of the Honeyed Suckle. The bouncer will look you all over, and start to motion you in before he sets his eyes upon your kobold. He'll motion to Ope and ask if that thing plans on going in. What, of course. Why can't I go in? I'll, I'll try just die here. Try and look real innocent, put my, you know, 
I'm dressed in my finest. I have a nice hat on. They should, they should let me in. Yeah. He'll just shrug and motion you in. And you'll be permitted in. Walk in with a lot of confidence and, uh, yeah. Small creepiness. All right. You are now within the confines of the brothel and the honeyed suckle. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, it's not a brothel. It would be a high-end leisure house, is really what it is. This reeks of filth. Actually, it smells quite nice in here. So, uh, are there gambling tables and stuff like that, or are we just... Is it just, uh... You don't see any. Rimian takes a glance around the room and wonders if there are any girls that take favors instead of funny. <laughs> Based on their dress, no. <laughs> the women and men in here are dressed with grace. They, You can tell that there is money spent upon the decorum and attire of those working here. While it is tasteful, it is still alluring. You can smell the scent of warm mead and spiced ales, as well as wine. Incense burn every so few feet uh, upon the walls, filling the room with a bit of a haze but also with a very light jasmine and lemon scent. Very different. The barkeep will look at you all and make a face of, hmm, wondering if you all can afford this place. You can read it on his expression, but he'll ask you how he can help you. Uh, I step up to the bar first. Uh, Put me in the uh, direction of uh, the. Uh, how best to phrase it? Women of persuasion. He'll ask you what your flavor is. Cherry. He'll nod and motion you down the hall and say that she'll be with you shortly. Okay. I'm just gonna go into stealth. I'd like to. Uh... I'd like to kind of um, work the room. You may give me an insight check to see if you realize what this place is. Okay. You may give me a perception check to see if you are able to understand what is happening. Okay! <laughs> uh, can I, Remy, can I do the same? You yeah, may do. give me a per or perception check because you are a man of travel and you are uh, of... Why didn't I get to do a perception check? You're you went to college. You don't know about these. You don't have the worldly experience that other people might. It's for those of us who've been around the block a few times, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, Rimian. There are several men in here that are watching your party that are heavily armed and armored. Can I do an inside check to see how what le the levels are? You may. You have no way of gauging it, as they are oh. sitting casually, and they are disguised. They're not... You can't openly see the armor. They're wearing vestments over them. Well, not cleric vestments, but other clothing. Can I do a perception check? Because I've got plus three perception, because I'm wasted, apparently. Oh, you're a cleric? Yeah, Take you've it. seen the world. Lies. Okay. Oh, uh, no. You can roll man in sight as well. You'll see the same thing. That there are several, being four. Four men in this room alone that are watching you all. Okay. I can't pull the wool over my eyes. Two of these men are seasoned fighters. You would guess probably about sixth level. Oof. One of them is definitely not a fighter. You would guess by the long blades that go along the sides of his legs that he is probably a rogue. And the third one, the fact that he is sitting casually sipping tea with a tomely book placed upon his lap, is most likely a mage. Hmm. Well, um, can I roll again to see if I can personally determine if these guys are guards or if they're just uh, another adventuring party or, you know, if they're working for the for the for the okay. house or not? With your insight check, Athelios, you can tell that these men are not guards. These men are working for whoever owns this establishment. They are strategically placed in positions where if something were to happen, they'd be able to have maximum efficiency from where they are with what they do. 
can I roll a survival check to see if they're gonna fight us if we don't do anything wrong? Uh, you would know that they are not here to cause trouble. They're more insurance than anything. They're here to make sure that nobody gets out of line, nothing goes crazy. Bounce. For bouncers. Mm, okay, upon that thought, that is way too much muscle for a brothel. Indeed. Oh, oh so we've got some some dodgy trades going on here, haven't we? You would have thought a couple of people with like a couple of basic fighters, low level clubs or something would be a, a bouncer. Not a decent level mage robe. Can I, I, yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna be yanking on some you guys' robes and sleeves trying to alert you to the fact that this is not your average uh Um Can I ask them if they hear about the disappearing dwarf Orin? Who are you gonna which one are you gonna ask? They're separate. The one that looks like he's the boss. You wouldn't know which one of them is the yeah, boss, actually. The boss. Oh, okay. Uh, he'll look up to you and say, Yes, sir. What was that? Are you here about the disappearing dwarf, Orin? I'm just here to pass some time and enjoy some tea. Okay. Well met. He'll smile. He'll smile back. <laughs> he'll Dinky give you a little tea. nod and say, Please enjoy yourself, sir. I'll just, I'll just nod my head and chill with OP. All right. Lee, you'll get down the hall and find that there is a much more plush room down here. There are several nice plump couches. There are several people waiting around. Um, someone will approach you and ask you if you are prepared to pay for the fee uh, so that you can be introduced to your girl for the evening. Uh, is it just me and this other person? Uh, no, there are several other people in here, but he does approach you discretionally. What's the fee? He'll lean in and he'll tell you that if you're ordering from the menu, that you're looking at a 30 gold fee for the evening. If you would like something beyond the menu, that'll have to be discussed per case. Um... Yeah, but it goes fine. He'll nod and he'll inform you this comes with bath, it comes with leisure activity, which he does not specify, and as much drink as you can handle. Good stuff. He'll also ask you if you have a recreational substance of choice. Uh, surprise me. He'll nod and he'll motion you towards one of the rooms. After you pay, of course. Yeah. I gave him 30 gold coins. Alright. So I'm not going to go into the specificity of what occurs there, but you may roll me a constitution check to see if you endure and perform well. Uh, oh. No, that, that's not going to be necessary. Alright. <laughs> uh, please do the person walking into the room. Please what? Uh, describe the person who walks into the room. She is going to be a, a constitution check. <laughs> a half elven woman wearing um, red leathers. Okay. Uh, cast on her charm person. Oh, okay. What's the uh, DC? Uh, again, I have to it say that again. It doesn't matter. She rolled a uh, five. What's that mean? So she will be charmed. Lovely job. Uh, we'll hold there for just a moment. Party. What are you all doing? Because things are about to pop off. Um. A swift 180 and walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> we got a plan, guys. I oh, know. I like throw myself into stealth. And, um, yeah, I want to be in fully hot, hidden, sneaky, sneaky mode. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. Yeah, well, um, Rimian approaches uh, the same guy Phil approach and asks him if. Roll me um, a perception, please. All right. Okay. 
Nice. Uh, he is murmuring under his breath as you approach, and doesn't seem to realize that you're there for a moment. You will see his eyes glimmering softly with the same arcane incantations that appear when other people cast magics. Uh, you'll distract him for a moment, he'll <clears throat> clear his throat and look up. Yes, sir. Um, I was just wondering if you could tell me uh, a little bit about this establishment and what you do here. He'll say that I'm just a patron. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the establishment, you can speak with the barkeep, I'm sure. Okay. Um, I was also wondering... Um... Ooh. <laughs> what else? Oh, shit. Um, thank you. Have a nice day. He'll not murmur to himself, odd fellow, but doesn't think too much of it, it seems. Noity, the reason that you are unable to fully slip into stealth is because the rogue in the room is watching you. He'll go as far as to get up and come over and offer to buy you a drink. I will accept. I'm going to hang out with this guy. Um, eagerly, I accept the offer to buy a drink. I have to climb up onto the stool, um, and I order something top shelf. He will place down a stack of ten coins and slide it across the table and say a drink for my small friend here. The barkeep will pour you a stout tumbler of something. You're not sure what it is. I don't really care. I'm going to um, pretend to drink it. I'm not going to fully drink it. I'm just going to keep my eye on him. You know, professional courtesy. He's keeping his eye on you in return. We're just going to sit there and stare at each other intently and make small talk about nothing. Yeah. He'll even go as far as to ruffle your hat and tell you that it looks very nice upon you. Where's the hat? Uh, rest of the party, do you have any actions? So Blaze is going to go up to the uh, to Barkey, and he's going to ask for a drink as well, something... Uh, he's going to ask for a cider. He'll nod, and he'll pour you a cider. I'll ask you first, warmed or chilled? Chilled. Very good. He'll pour you a cider and inform you that it'll be eight silver pieces. Very good, thank you. I am not drinking my drink, just so we're clear on that. Okay. <laughs> trust this guy. All right. Just so back doesn't to trust me. Lee gone. Yes. You have cast Charm Person, and she will look at you and smile, as she had been. Happy days. Uh, I uh, whisper into her ear and gave her the general uh, idea that it would be a really good idea to bring me 100 gold coins. She'll say, of course, and walk out of the room. Uh, can I check the windows in the room, please? There are no windows. Any other exit other than the main exit? There is not. Okay. Not an issue. I will await her return. All right. Any other actions from the party? <clears throat> Um, I'd like to distract this rogue somehow. I think maybe play a game with them or something. Like, any ideas, guys? Um, I don't know. I just want to. I just want to keep his eyes on me, not on what Tom's doing. Stop complimenting his weapons. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna ask him, you know, what what uh, what's he carrying? What are those daggers he's got there? Uh, He'll tell you that yeah. they are called long blades. Um, they slip into. He'll show you. He'll roll back his sleeves, and you'll see this man has a chain shirt underneath his clothing. It's very impressive. And there are cuffs that these slip into upon his forearm that allow him to punch with them as well as slash with them. Nice. Yeah. Where did you get those? He'll go on to tell you that they're. A customary blade of his homeland. Where's that? Where, where are you from? He will tell you that he is from... Let me check this guy's fucking sheet. <laughs> he is from the west coast of Raldane. Alright, so we're going to have just a professional uh, conversation comparing weapons and, and gear and... Remian overhears um, this conversation and approaches him, says, 
East Side, Long Beach Crippin, and then walks away. He stabs you six times in one round. <laughs> <laughs> Feels fair, bro. <laughs> you know, can't have no West Coasters over here. Live by the sword, die by the sword, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, you will see. Everybody will see. <laughs> A very cheery uh, lady of the evening stroll into the bar, go behind the bar, go into a door, and then a few moments later, she will return carrying a small bag and start heading back towards that area. In tow will be three men and a woman heading towards that direction. Following her? Uh, yes, they are following her. Um, Ramian approaches them and pretends As to... you approach, one guy will hold up a hand and say, Sir, stand back. Um, I, I end up uh, fake, or not faking, but uh, tripping <laughs> and falling on the floor in front of him, blocking his way. He will step over you and continue walking. <laughs> These men are not dressed in decorum that I would consider to be... Um... Appropriate for the setting. Uh, two of these men have half plate on. Uh, and their weapons are obvious. Uh, the third man is wearing a battle robe. It's a robe that has leather chain and some plating um, to provide your standard arcane clothing, but with some armor. So uh the woman is she doesn't seem to have anything not she's just dressed normally she doesn't seem to have any kind of weaponry uh but you get the feeling that she's probably in charge here what's the general uh demeanor of these people they mad amused <laughs> okay um can i do an inside check to see what level she is <laughs> you can try Ooh. Uh, she exceeds your level by ten at least. Oh God, <laughs> Tom, nice knowing you. Um, Tom, the prostitute will re-enter <laughs> the room and hand you a bag. Great stuff. I I'll walk straight out of the room. You will walk out into the loving embrace of two heavily armed men. They'll say hello, sir. How are you doing this evening? Uh, not too bad, just on my way out, as it happens. Here, take yeah. this as a tip. I've proven a gold coin. <laughs> They're going to casually place their hands upon you and move you back into the room. And then you'll have the battle mage follow, and then you'll have the woman follow. And the door will be closed. <laughs> Would you like to make a constitution to see if you survive what happens next? Why not? Didn't realize he was into uh, orbits. Um, essentially, Tom, they're going to sit you down. Uh, the battle mage is going to check you for anything of note, and then take the gold from you. Uh, the woman's just gonna simply ask you, what "The hell you're doing?" Uh, waiting for a diversion. Oh, I don't know about that. She'll well, look around. I don't know. Would you like to go tell the rest of his party that he's waiting for a diversion? And the other guy will say, of course, my lady. And they'll leave. And you'll have one of the guys in full play come out. Excuse me. I believe that there's a man waiting for a diversion. <clears throat> if Elias walks in through the door, pulls his pants down and whips out his men through the magna. <laughs> Did uh, I work here? <laughs> All right. Mean, meanwhile, um, Remian, after uh, he uh, realized that uh, the the guy was gonna keep um, walking past him, went outside and struck a fire with this matchbox and tinders right outside the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, the bouncer who is standing there will look at you. 
Well, I'm around back or something, <laughs> not around front. <laughs> you Jesus said Christ. right outside the door. Oh, well, fuck me. I will provide you an option to recount that and use a different course of action. Okay, yeah. Um, Remian strode around to the side. Is there like an alleyway or anything around here or no? There is. Stroll along to the side alleyway. There is a entry here as well with a uh, body, or uh, not a body, but a bouncer. This seems uh, to go underneath the place. Wonder what's oh. down there. Um. Fuck. This guy, however, he's more armored, and there's more noise coming from down there. Um. Yeah. Maybe I mean, just uh. Nods and walks back to the inside. This is give you a little incline right. of the head. Uh, question. Yes. It's been roughed up. Is Tom getting roughed up in there? Is there noise that we can hear, or are we all there just? There has not been any noise just yet. Any of this? Have we noticed this happening? Oh yeah, you. I mean, you notice the people go in. Uh, you. The guy will come out and say that he's waiting for a distraction. Does Athelius really pull his cock out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a distraction. Let me tell you. <laughs> but um, if it distracts them, yeah. But if not, it yeah. it probably would. Okay. They'd be like, oh, what's the act? Okay. <laughs> what well, is just more high cut. <laughs> so party, any actions? The guy is waiting, waiting for anybody to do mm. anything. Yeah, let's walk up. I'll walk up and say. We're here because we heard about a secret place underneath it, and we're trying to get... To ah, it. you don't know about that. Uh, well, I walk back in. Th You're cause... still outside. This is while they're acting right now. You're outside at the moment. But I'm walking back in, right? It takes time for that to happen. Okay. And Tom only has a limited amount of time before they begin what they're going to do. Uh... All right, I'm going to say to these guys, chill. The excuse man will myself. smile at you uh, excuse... as you begin to excuse yourself. The rogue will put his hand on your shoulder and just shake his head. But I, I need to go use the little kobold's room. Um, He'll smile and just I'm... continue shaking his head as he reaches towards his uh, boot knife. Right, I'm going to say... Alright, well, I'll have a seat back down here. This is some really good whatever it is you just gave me to drink. Uh, yeah, He'll tell me about your boot knife. That's a nice boot knife you got there. I'm going to say, say it is indeed. The dwarf Orin came in here, and he spoke to this lady, and he asked her for a hundred gold, and we're trying to recreate this so that we can find out what happened to him. Of course you're holding this. Right this way. We'll take you into the back and answer some questions for you. Come with me. Oh, shit. Okay. They'll <laughs> escort Athelios towards the back. <laughs> <laughs> Take your hands off me. I can walk <laughs> myself. And I walk. Okay, Blaze, what are you going to be doing while this is happening? Face palming? There you go. <laughs> oh, do you have any actions? I would like to squirm uncomfortably under this rogue's hand and try and persuade him to let me go use the little kobold's room. He is going to flick a few hand gestures at you that you will recognize as Thieves Cant, and he will inform you that this is a rogue's den, the largest one in the city. Well, obviously, but where, <laughs> where, where can a where can a kobold uh, go to do kobold business? Is what I say back to him in Thieves Cant. He'll respond, if you aren't dead in the sewer by morning, I'm sure you can pay your dues and join the guild. How much are the dues? 10 gold plus 30% cut of everything you make in the first month that you're here. Sure. sure. Here's here's 10 gold. He'll smile and look down at it and then slide it back to you and say that he likes his hands. He wouldn't take gold from the mistress. Well, who do I give it to then if he doesn't want it? The woman. He'll tell you that we'll see how things pan out for you, little buddy. Let me, let me talk to your mistress. I'd like to join this thieves guild. It seems like it'd be a really good idea if I'm going to spend any time in this town. I'll say that uh, I'm sure you'll be talking to her soon. <laughs> Don't rush things. 
Uh, Blaze, you're the only one that's not really implicated at the very moment. Nobody's really looking at you, so you're the fucking field is open to you, buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, Rimian's okay, too. He could just leave. Yeah. If Elias looks up and remembers the nice, warm, toasty room that he hired. <laughs> uh, you're going to be escorted to the back. This whole shit show. Play <laughs> out. <laughs> he he he's been trying to figure out how many people that he's seen work at this premises. So, well, we're just just help me out here. So there was the the first three: the the fight of the rogue and the the mage and the rogue with the wizard. Two fighters, one rogue, one mage. Okay. And then there was the original people that went into the bathroom, right? There were four of them, so that's eight. Eight. Plus the bouncer out front, which is nine. Nine. And then there was the other one on the side door. You don't know about right. him you just yet, but yeah, him too. There's can, ten. Can I do an inside check to see how strong the guy on the side door is? Yeah, go for it. Uh, you'd guess he's probably, I don't know, four or five. Hmm. He's not really too, too much to handle. He's just a doorman. Uh, I will approach him and uh, ask him... What was that noise I heard from the door? He'll say members only, sir. Be on your way. Is there anybody else inside of this van? Uh, it's just you and him in an alleyway here. I will... <laughs> oh, God! I will slash the shit out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you pull your blade. Everything stops right there. No shit. Okay, so, Rimian, you'll pull your blade. Hold. All right. Please. Let me put you on the combat tracker, because this guy is not a guard. He will murder your fucking face and leave you in this alley. Actually, I'll put you in the sewer when you're done. So, you get initiative. He did not expect you to pull your weapon, so he's startled. You can attack first. Uh, okay, so how do I do this? Do I roll a dice or something? On your action tab, you'll find your longsword there, and it says plus one. If you double-click that, it'll roll your attack. That's your damage. Okay. You gotta roll your attack first, see if you can hit. Oh. Um. You'll hit him. All right. So you pull your blade and swing and strike the man in the, his chest, and you'll deal five damage to him. He's gonna hit the fucking wall, look down, look back up at you, and say, you're a fucking idiot, as he pulls his sword. All now, right. That is going to be combat. Combat accelerates very quickly. It's six seconds per round. So, we're going to figure out what happens in the alleyway first and then go from there. The rest of the party, you are held in place at the moment. You cannot interact with this because you do not know what's happening. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Rimian, if you would, on your character sheet, there is initiative, I-N-I-T. If you could roll that for me, it'll tell me what your initiative is, how quickly you respond. Um... It's next to your AC. Ooh, 22. You beat oh, yeah. him. So you hit him once, he responds by pulling his blade, you may strike mm -hmm. again. Alright, I gotta go back to action then, right? Correct. I'll also give you an in- uh, I- you missed. I'll give you a chance to perception to see, because he did something else when you hit him. All so right. you may roll perception as well. Grabs his chest and hit the wall, right? Yep. Okay. Behind him on the wall, there is a button that he slammed into purposefully when you hit him. Oh, boy. That's an alarm, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably. All right. He swings at you and strikes you with his blade. And he will deal six damage to you. You may strike. It is your turn. You swing and miss. He will swing and miss. Your turn. You hit. Roll your damage. You will Ooh. deal seven damage to him. All right. Nice. He will swing. He will hit. He will deal eight damage to you. Oh, my God. How much HP does it? Can I do an inside check to see how much HP this guy has? 
He is a higher level than you by one or two. You're not sure which. Okay. All right. You may. You critically hit him. Oh. Now. <laughs> come on. What come on. Me? Go ahead and roll your damage. You're going to deal double damage to him. Oh. Se oh, not as good as you would hope for. So seven. Okay. He'll swing. He'll hit. He is going to action surge and take an additional swing on you. Oh my god. Which will also hit. He will deal 11, 14 damage to you. Holy oh, shit. shit. How much HP does Remy have? I have 28. Remy, you have three remaining HP. Oh god. Oh shit. It is your turn. You swing and hit. Alright. Three. Damn. It looks like you're close, but not enough. Oh he no! He swing. He misses. Oh, no. Come on, Remy. Please, God, hit him! Swing, and you miss. It catches what? his shield. Oh, Fifteen. He swings. He hits. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Two. Fucking what? Oh, <laughs> Dude, you're on the. Oh, Come on! Come on! Come on. Roll your damage. Yes, that's what we're talking about. He hits the ground. That's the problem, but Uh, now that was six. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do now that he is on the ground? Uh, do I have any kind of medical kit I can apply to myself? Because I'm about you dead. You do not, and you're bleeding profusely. Um, you don't lose shit. <laughs> Does this guy have loot on him? Yeah, that's a good question. He's Shot got armor, he's got a sword, he's got a shield, he's got a pouch. Uh, I'll take the pouch. Um, You're shot in the back. <gasps> what? <laughs> For five damage, you go down. Oh my god. No! Alright, so I will give you a chance to perception to see if you can tell where it came from as you're falling. Um, alright. Ah, I'll give that to you. As you're tipping forward, you're gonna realize that there is an archer on the, the roof who just leaned over and shot you. Oh. Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> alright, so. Rimian is down and unconscious. Uh, party. You are gonna hear a scuffle at the side of the building with some clanging and things like that. It only lasts for maybe 30 seconds before it's over, though. Okay. Uh, Tom, you weren't going to hear shit, actually, because of what's happening to you. We'll get to that in a second. Um, Athelios and Blaze, you are... You're the only... T actually, no. Blaze, you're the only one that is not currently engaged with somebody. So, what were you? What would you like to do? Which one of these idiots do I say? Um, I don't think I can help Tom. There's like three in there. Um, I'm going to. Um, I'm still sat near Oak though, right? Because they're broken bar. Right. The rogue's sitting there with his arm or his hand on Oak's shoulder. <clears throat> okay. Um. And uh, me from you know, that that mage is staring at you, Blaze. Just smiling. Just staring. Alright. His so, hands are uh, casually placed on the table, like he's ready to just pop up. They they were what level were they? Someone else did an insight check earlier, right? Uh probably four or five. May no, though these guys in the bar room, they're six, I believe. Oh, okay. Um How can I help Hope get this rogue out? Um, Arthur. Can I, um... Can I just walk past and stumble and just knock? Try and, try and just accidentally, like, knock. Like I've tripped and knock him off the... You sure can try. Okay, Roll me a performance that. check, please. Unless you'd like to do something else. I wasn't sure if you wanted to. Whew. All 
right. Oh. So you're going to try to stumble and trip. Hope this guy will move with a natural 20 dexterity here. He is going to slide his blade free from his boot, turn, and stab your friend. What? Yep. Blaze makes a very blaze? un... Yeah, he just, just ran him through the gut. Wait, uh, <clears throat> uh, can I go and heal him? Uh, no, you're being escorted towards the back of the building. Blaze, you're going to take oh. eight damage. Come oh on. my god, so I'm down to seven, right? My friend yeah. is hurt. You're you can't see this. You're out of shot of that. You don't oh. see that happening. Oh. Um, and then he will stand and pull his other blade, looking down at Blaze, and then the other guys will stand up. The patrons are gonna like freeze. Like this is a normal thing that happens. The guy will say, "Oh, this man tried to steal from me." And they're going to come over and attempt to arraign you, Blaze. Oh, I'm you going are. To... Can... Can I try and persuade him that my, my friend was not trying to steal from him or something like that? Sure. If I get up, I'm going to say, uh, try and Or that I don't know this man. You know what? No, I'm going to try and persuade him that I don't know who this person is, and I'm yeah, not with him. Okay. Sure. You don't have to roll performance. The rogue will just continue to look upon you with some kind of, like, pretty sure that he's trying to save you. I'll get back up. I'll brush myself up. I'll, uh, uh, I'll decry that. Did, did, did he state that he thinks I was trying to steal from him, right? Yeah, and you got stabbed. I'm going to be clutching my wound, <laughs> and um, I'm going to loudly decry that I am not a thief. The okay, so let's let's go ahead and skip past the foreplay, shall we? Oh, God. Let's just go ahead and get right down to what's going to happen. Blaze, you're going to be taken to the back as well. Ope, you're the rogue is going to tell you that you should probably get out of here. Should maybe I'm go tell scamper. someone. Yeah, I'm gonna scamper out the door uh, and find. Isn't Athelia? Did Athelia? No, he's being es escorted out too. Yeah. I'm gonna go out the door down the uh, down the alley and find Remian. <laughs> You'll find a pool of blood. Did he get up and leave? <laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> I I'm passed out. He said. I I'm yeah, out you're unconscious. Dead. Yeah. Um, yeah, did, do I find him or no? No, you won't find him. There's blood being cleaned up over here. There's two, what looks like, uh, rogues definitely cleaning up blood in the alleyway, though. All right, well, I'm going to scamper away from there. Um, <laughs> a lot of scampering going on. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So everybody's being taken towards the back, right? Like in a yeah. general back area. Remian, where is his? where is he at now? You don't know. Can I follow the blood trail? They, it goes right down the stairs into the uh, the underground of this area. He's in the building, too. Everybody's inside that building, except me. Yeah. Well, crap. Um, let me... Uh, I need to figure out how to get in there. Um, I'm going to just go down to that, that door at the bottom where the blood leads me and uh, knock on it. Okay. Uh, the two rogues there won't mind you. It seems like they're probably initiates, probably low level. They're not trying to get involved in whatever the fuck's going on, so they're just going to pretend like they don't see you. Uh, knocking on the door will elicit you no response, probably because they're dealing with shit on the inside. Louder, and then I'm going to mention to those other two rogues, I'm like, hey, yeah, I was just kind of wondering what's, uh, I was told there was a, a rogue guild here, and I wanted to join they're just going to pretend like they don't fucking hear you. <laughs> Continue cleaning but up what this. All right. Clicker and like, fuck. Try the hand. All right. What I'm going to look at you and say, right now is not a good time. He'll say it out loud. Right now is not a good time. We got some shit going on, okay? What's going on, man? What's going on? What, when is a good time? I really want to join. I just got here. Just, just got into Come town. Come and... later tonight, okay? Everything will be taken care of by then. I don't want to come back later tonight. I got some money to make. Come on, let me. I don't want to break any law. I don't want to get. I don't want to get like run afoul of you guys, man. I want to join the club before I go out. Roll me up for persuasion. persuasion. Yeah, you want to prove yourself. Yeah. He just <laughs> shakes his head. No, no. He'll go back to cleaning up the blood. All right, man. We'll do. Where, where, uh, where can a kobold go in this town to, you know? Where can I sleep tonight? You guys won't let me in here. He'll shrug and say, I don't know, in a haystack somewhere? 
One of the barns? Can. One of the stables? I don't know. I, I gotta for? get this blood cleaned up, okay? Help clean up the blood. He'll, He'll look, look at, at you. you. How? How? I'm gonna just grab like a, a nearby old rag or something and, and just kind of start energetically cleaning up blood with him. <laughs> okay, I'll appreciate that. Like, Random come on, I'm help you, man. All right, he'll say, if you can help me get this cleaned up, I'll put a good word in for you, and I'll get you inside. All right, so I, you know, use my best servile kobold techniques to to help him oh, clean shit. up the blood. All right, the rest <laughs> of the party, we'll hop to you. Uh, Tom? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, I would... Sorry. I will, I, I, what am I supposed to be my primary resource? Or I was reading something about that, uh, fighting spirit or whatever. Do you have that after a long rest? Okay, I don't have that to start with though, like randomly. I mean, yeah, I yeah, you go. Uh, see, I would have used that, and I didn't think about it because it would have gave me advantage on all those attacks I was doing. I didn't know that I had it yet until I just yeah. started reading again. D and D is the learning process. You'll get the hang of it. Okay. Uh, Tom. Yes, I would like to do a history check first. Okay. Because I'm aware that this isn't what I thought it was going to be. You are correct. It is not. Go for it. So. I'm here, by the way. Okay. I don't know if history is going to help you. You can try insight and see if you can well, glean I, I, what's going on. I got a plan of. Well, I can do insight if you. Yeah, go on then. Why isn't it rolling? I don't know. Oh, because I'm not clicking on the number. Okay. Uh, you all have stumbled into something much larger than you had expected. Uh, See, that's why I wanted to do the history check, because obviously okay. it's some kind of uh, rogues guild or something like that. So I want to do a history yeah. check to see if I know the the history enough to be able to at least guess a name or give me something to mm. work with with the uh, upcoming bullshit sure. I'm going to try and drop. Motherfucker. No, you just can't come up with anything. They are going to get you up and walk you out the back there and uh, into another room. Unless you are going to try to stop them. Uh, no, I'm uh, looking for an opportunity to talk to the woman who's obviously in charge. So am I with her at the moment? Uh, you're not. She is going to depart from you. You will see them dragging Remian's body into the building, though. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just kind of like, like draped lazily over top of one of their shoulders with an arrow in his back, and they'll just, you know, walk him downstairs. The same direction you're going. Cool beans. And then you'll see Athelios being escorted the same direction. And then you'll see Blaze joining you all. The gang's all here. Well, I'm sure Rope is uh, alerting the guards and saving us as we speak. <laughs> On it. Yes. You are going to be escorted into an underground lair where there is literally probably about 40 to 50 of these rogues, bandits, you know, thugs, people like that down here. They're gambling, they're selling shit, there's a dude selling poison, there's a guy in the back corner who's selling information, there's a guy with a fucking bulletin board placing hits on people. Um, Ooh, the guy selling information, could we walk over to him? No, you're not walking anywhere except for where you're being directed to. Okay. You're all going to be taken into a side room and placed in cells after they strip you of your goods. S cell? Yeah. What did I do? And then be left there. You can talk to m talk amongst yourselves now. Are we in uh, the same cell? No, you're separated into different cells. Also, you can hear the steady dripping of Remian's blood as they did not bandage that man. Wait, who's <laughs> in the cells next to Remian? Uh... Hold on. Okay. And... Huh. Okay. Told you you're gonna need a map of this place. I don't need a map of this place. I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> I had to roll his death savings throws to see which, if he died on his way down. Which one has a, um... has bandages and stuff? I think They're I'm going to uh, put Remian okay. in the one furthest to the right, and then it'll be Blaze, Legon, and then Athelios. Awesome. So I'm like furthest away from him. You are. Damn. Um. Ope, you finished.
finish cleaning the blood and the... Yeah, my, the, my new friend. My new friend. Little uh, level, name. His name is Farron, by the way. What's his name? Farron. Farron's my new best friend. With an F. F-A-R-R-Y-N. Farron. Farron. Best friend. Best friend like, Farron. Right, right. I, I can get you inside now. Come on, let's let's go. I'm going to carry the buckets and be super helpful and follow Farron into the building, I guess. All right, he'll take you down to the Rogue Guild proper, and you're like, fuck! This is way bigger wow. than any Rogue Guild you've ever seen. I'm very impressed. He's going to say, look, so right over there, there's a desk. You talk to that guy, and he'll get you through the new membership stuff, okay? So, uh, tell him... What? So that sounds awesome. He'll say, tell him that I can vouch for you, and he'll only make you pay five. So um, I hand him the buckets. I trot on over to that desk. As you're walking towards him, you'll see them parade your friends through. And one of them is dying! <laughs> I pretend like I don't know who those people are. And I go over to the desk, and I'm like, hey, I'd like to... Uh, my, my, I met Farron. I'm new in town. And uh, I'd like to join the, the, the Thieves Guild, Rogues Guild. He'll narrow one eye and lean in closer to you, and he'll say, oh, hmm. What are you? Hi, oh. oh, I'm Oak. Nice to meet you. I'm Oak. Nice to meet you. I'm here, and uh, I'm a very accomplished rogue in uh, other towns. All right. Do something uh, dexterous for me. Right. Um, I pull out a stack of cards, and I do like a simple little card trick for him. Roll me a dexterity. Yep. Or performance, whichever you prefer. Sleight of hand or That'll performance. Work too. He'll give you a little clap and say, yeah, sure. And he'll slide you a coin across the table. It's a wooden chiseled coin. And he'll say okay, that cool. if you run into any uh, trouble with any of the members, anyone's going to try to mug your thing, flash this. And if uh, that doesn't get you out of it, good luck. Um, All right. We take 30% of your cut for the first month. After that, it's 10% going forward. Anything that you steal inside the town walls, give us a portion. If it's on the main roads outside, make sure it doesn't lead back to us. Other than that, Enjoy yourself, and I do believe that they're uh, serving some piss down by the bar for free. I wouldn't drink it, right. but it's up to you. No, nah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, so what's going on in here right now? And I kind of gesture, gesture towards, you know, the parade of bleeding people that they're they're dragging through. <laughs> He'll lean back and say, just some idiots trying to steal from the brothel. Who would be dumb enough to steal from a brothel? That's insane. And I, oh. I'm going to kind of joke with him and laugh a bit. Uh, yeah. and then I'm gonna ask him where the restroom is. He'll even, like, pitch a fucking, I don't know, like a bone or something at Rimian's body as they're carrying him through. What an idiot. <laughs> How accessible is where they're taking them to where I am right now? Like, can I just kind of walk back there, or is there a door? What was going I don't on? Phil, why is your camera on, brother? What's happening? <laughs> I can't hear you, man. Jay's mute. Still struggling over there, brother. Uh, okay, they take them to a side room, a room away from where you are. Um, but you can definitely tell where they're going. There's a large, uh, like a cage door almost that they'll pull close after them. After they take them into there. All right. Um, I'm gonna kind of look around the room. Uh, so there's really no way for me to get back where those guys are, or I mean, can you I, could try to pick a back? lock. No, I mean like, can I walk back and like, there's, is there like a line of cells and just kind of check out who's in prison or what? I heard you said uh, my no, no. Was on. Well, yeah, your camera's on. I put my I put it on my phone because I was going downstairs to get some food, and then it just said, "Why is your fucking camera on, man?" I'm like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back of my PC now, though. All right. Um, you can't see who's in there, but you can like go back though. to the general area. Right. Yeah. Um. So you're gonna be put in cells. Um, uh, Lee, you're gonna be pulled out of your cell and taken to another room because they assume you're the mastermind behind this. Um, you'll be sat down in a nice plush chair across from a finely dressed woman. Uh -huh. She'll ask you, 
how she can help you. It's how I can help you. That's the real question. If it's anything like how you all have helped yourselves this evening, I think I'm okay. Okay, mistakes were made. Didn't quite realise what an impressive operation you got going on here, admittedly. But I definitely think that we can work together to a mutual beneficial uh, scenario. I am always open to new business opportunities to speak. Uh, would you like something to drink? Show will offer. Uh, yeah, yes please. She'll make a flick of her finger and the jug of, or decanter of wine will drift over and pour a nice little glass for you. Oh, pretty little lumber. Lovely. Good head. Anyway, so, the, uh, the dwarf that everyone wants, Ogum. Orin. Orin. Thank Orin. you. I assume you've heard of him? Sure not. We can get him for you. Why would I want him? Because everybody wants him. He's valuable. You can make money. Who's to say I don't already have him? Because you don't. Alright, how are you going to get him? Well, if I tell you that, there's no reason to keep me alive, so uh, I'll keep that one to my chest if you don't mind. Look, it might not look it from uh, what you've seen here, but this is uh, a crack team that we've assembled. <laughs> As we speak, more of our members are currently infiltrating and uh, taking tender hooks within your organisation. Uh, we can definitely you have work a together. You have an unconscious fighter. You have. I'm not sure. One of the best fighters in the world. A noble okay. cleric from a, from a uh, noble bloodline. Hey, how do you know this man is even with us, this fighter? You're not there. Oh, no. <laughs> you have a uh, kobold who is currently now one of my. Uh, members of one of my guild. Where the fuck am I then if I'm not there? You're in one of the cells oh, right now. Uh, okay, cool. <clears throat> And I think that's everything that you came in with, unless you have people that were outside, hmm. which I doubt it because you all were arrested together as well. Look, I was trying to quickly rob a hundred coins so we had enough capital so we could go get this guy and get the reward for ourselves. We'll go 50-50 on the reward from the uh, justice yeah. guards, I forget their name. What'd you say? The Sumpets of Justice, the whatever. She is going to ponder this for a moment. She'll say, okay, I'll tell you what. I won't kill you all. That'll be my gift to you. Because you've amused me this evening. But I do not deal with the Inquisition. And I surely do not want to get involved in whatever the hell they have going on. And if you're involved with that, I would advise you to make your business with them quick. I'll let you have four of the five people that you came in here with. We're keeping the fighter, though. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your time. Cheers, bye. I'll even refund you the 30 gold, since you never got to have your evening. Ah, very generous of you. And you she will nod. Don't want She'll anything else from us? Like to, uh, if you'd ever actually like to earn gold, you can become a member. We offer jobs, and your magics may actually be able to turn you coin then. I'll join you guys. Show motion and say there's a desk outside. Collect your party members from the dungeon. And, uh... How much for the fighter? Oh, he's going to die. I'll give you the 30 gold. <laughs> <laughs> he wounded my, my doorman. So I'm going to make an example of him. 50 gold. A hundred. Can uh, I owe you fifty of it till I've done a job? You don't want to be in debt to me. <laughs> he can earn it back. He's our best fighter. You're crippling our ability to earn you money if you let him die. A hundred and fifty with interest, and he owes it. 
If Fine. he doesn't pay, I'm coming for you next. He's happy, he's happy. 150, he's well happy with that. I'm uh, done. Thank you very much. She'll slide 30 gold across to you and motion towards the door. And you just met one of the most powerful crime bosses in the fucking city. What's your name, by the way? <laughs> she will tell you that her name is Torfina. Tamias, charmed, I'm sure. She'll nod. Your name isn't Tamias, it's Legon. Oh, yeah, Legon, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her that she needs to heal me before I bleed out on myself in the cell. She'll say that one of the clerics of the coin will heal your fighter on the way out. She'll make, uh, like, a dismissive motion. You can go. So, hastily hey, make a, an exit and uh, head to the uh, main desk. Yeah. Uh, well, head back to my party and we'll. <laughs> I got us a job opportunity, guys! <laughs> and we're not gonna die! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What is it, I? Do I get any kind of. Uh... Like experience for beating that guy because I did win that fight, right? Yeah, you won, you beat a guy, yes, but you did not win the encounter. But it still does count as a group experience overall, yes. Okay, cool. At least it was kind of worth it. So I'm level four, right? No, not <laughs> even close. Okay, party, you will eventually be uh, released from the cells, and uh, Remy and you will be healed to consciousness. One hit point, is that what he's got? Nah, they're gonna heal, they're actually gonna throw a heal on him. <laughs> Fuck! Not a very good heal, 3d8, and they got a fucking 5. Blaze, waves at the clarity. So, so how much is that? Oh. You, I healed you already. Oh, okay. You have, have we still 7 got, hit points. It's not been night time yet, and we've still got the room, so we can all go to sleep and get our health back, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that, and then we'll all pull out. Well, then we'll pull out. Okay. Well, I look at the fight with fucking monsters in a city street on the way back to the tavern at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that'll be a fight we've got a chance of winning. Oh, oh actually, it will probably instigate the fight because that's. <laughs> yeah, that's more our play. <laughs> I won oh. my fight. Not at least the, the freaking archers were, got me. Yeah. I feel um... like I won a verbal joust. Yeah, man, you did well. Came away alive. I feel like I won overall in this whole thing. Rimian, you will be informed that you are indebted 150 yeah, gold fun. with an interest rate of uh, three points per week. Yeah, be three points. So is that three percent a week? Thirty, thirty percent per week. Oh God. In game week, but yeah. Yeah. It's taken us ages to get through a day. It'll be eight, ages before any interest goes on. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> to the uh, the big boss of the guild. Yeah. God, I went from being poor to even more poor. I'm gonna not follow them out and maintain the I don't know who these people are ruse and hang out with my new buddies in the basement. Wow. Well, Roland already said yeah. he, that she knew you were with us, or something like that. She can know all she wants, but I'm not going to admit to it. Uh, they are going to give you your first job. Yay! Work! What do I get to They're do? They're going to tell you. One of the guys will come over and be like, you're the new guy? Yep. Girl? Thing? You're the new thing? Yep. New kobold. Yes. Uh, alright, look. He'll, like, take a knee. So you and me, what we're going to do is... There is a general store that's getting a shipment of incense in today that are expensive. Right. We're going to break in, and we're going to take them. Sounds good. Just me and you? Yep, just me and you. Nope, this is my All first right. job, too. Alright, let's go. I'm not. Well, I mean, we should wait until it gets good dark. Oh, okay. When do you want to leave? He'll say, I don't know, like a couple hours. I'm going to go catch some shut eye in the barracks. Alright, I'll meet you back here after dark. No, not. Stay there and just kind of hang out. All right, party. Where are you all going? Opie is missing. Ope, not Opie. Ope. Uh, 
I assume Ope's going to reappear at some point. I think we should probably mm -hmm. go back to that nice expensive room that Aphilius has kindly paid for and uh, Man, Aphil rethink our money-making strategy because that did not work. You all started off at such, or well, Aphelia started at such a high point, and then just has been going down the longer he's been with the party. I've, I've not done a thing wrong. All I have done is try and talk to the Templars, got us a room to sleep in, uh, try to talk to, out Tom out of his situation, then get us got into a cell, even though I wasn't the one who fucking did it. No, so yeah. just the company you keep. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. Like, like, Blaze is just, just tried, just stumble, got stabbed in the guts. <laughs> and, uh, and then Tom comes along as if he saved us, and he was a fucking person. <laughs> I was hoping nobody would notice that, to be perfectly honest with you, but... Well, could I have done a perception check or something to see if I would have seen the archer on the roof before I even started that encounter? That's fine. He wasn't there when done. you first started the encounter. Oh, the okay, button was, the was button. a bell on the inside that alerted him that something okay. was going on. Alright, just I'm just trying to learn combat no, you're like fine. A... As a party oh. you'll you'll get the gist of it. Reconnaissance is your friend. There was going yeah. to be a big massive diversion and there wasn't I d I don't know what you want me to do. We didn't die. No, you did everybody <laughs> I don't everybody did fine. <laughs> you just wait yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> I wave you hit me for two and I survived it. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Counting more and more bodies. Yeah, it's not going to be worth Yeah. Okay, so you all arrive at the Marooned Wolf. Um, the end room is still in your name, so you can rest there. Um, are there any actions you'd like to take before? Do we turning in for the evening. Do we need to rest or? Uh, Blaze is hurt and Rimian is hurt. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, if we uh, rest and uh, maybe get a heal on Blaze and Rimian. Well, rest and all heal us, I think. Right. Yeah. And hope that Ope arrives at some point before uh, we uh, lock the room for the night. It doesn't yeah. matter. You do whatever you need. Or... or anything at this end, or...? What was that? Any baths at this end? Yeah. Yeah, Blake's gonna, gonna clean himself up, clean off the blood, he's gonna leave his clothes out to get cleaned. You've then... been shot three times today and stabbed once. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's gonna ask uh, if they could do some repairs on his clothes. They will look down at your grimy, blood-covered clothes and nod. Yeah, and uh, he's going to ask them to see if they could buy him another set and uh, give them a give them a few gold for coins for. All right, they'll tell you that they can get that done for five coins. Yeah, wanted that. All right. All right. After that he's um he's going to have a quick quick snack and then he's going to rest up. All Brilliant. right. Uh, yeah, Remy and I'll throw his current, uh... Wait, am I wearing traveler's clothes or just armor? You're wearing traveler's clothes and armor. Okay. Otherwise, it gets chafy. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll throw away that one of my, my traveler's clothes. There's not much hope in those. They're probably torn all to pieces by now. Um, and put on my other set. Oh, well, I'm gonna take a bath and put on my other set. Alright. Go to bed. Alright. Athelios, what would you like to do? Is he there? We'll come back. We'll come back around to him in a moment. What about Lee gone? How are you? What are you doing? Uh. Yeah, after uh, a thoroughly successful after uh, afternoon, uh, just kicking it back <laughs> and uh, relaxing. Sounds good. All right. Uh, all right. So that being said, then going forward from there, um, I'm assuming Athelios will probably turn in for the night as well. We'll come back around to him though. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay, okay. 
What are you, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. Been ready since we got into town. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's true. <laughs> he was like, guys, I'm tired. I want to take a nap. And they're like, no, let's go to... Let's, let's try and rub the brothel. Let's do all kinds of other shit. Go to jail or get put in cells twice. Oh, yeah. Crazy. All right. So the party, uh, at least the ones at the Maroon Wolf, will take it easy for the evening. Ope, what are you doing? Well, I was hanging out with all my brand new friends down there in the basement waiting for dark. I mm -hmm. guess I'm going to do that until uh, my new partner shows up and we start our job. All right. Some hours will pass, and he will reconvene with you. Hey, what's your name? He will tell you that his name is... Hold on, let me get it for you. His name I is... Got, uh, snoozing things by their, like, their portraits. That means that they're AFK. Oh, right, right. Night will fall on the city. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. that. Yeah. Oh. His name is uh, Gord. All right, new buddy Gord, where are we going? I'll tell you that this is a mid-range uh, general store, so it's uh, middle of the town, and he will show you the way. All right, so we're going sneaky sneaky, or what are we doing? Just going to follow him over there? Yeah, y'all just head on over there, calmly and quietly, um, and you'll see the store itself. You'll see the little... Um, storage area behind it and he'll tell you that there might be more guards today with there being the new shipment and it is kind of pricey so we need to be careful okay. um, so it's just the two of us right that is correct alright we need to do a little bit of reconnaissance um, I guess I'll look around to see if there's guards and stuff there are. I have something for you. Hold. Bop, bop, bop. I have to get it to load. Hold on. Oh, what's that? Hey! This is, is the like map? the alleyway? Yes. So, where you need to get to is this building here. That's where the goods are being kept inside of that building. Um, or the storage area that is behind the building here. Now, that being said, let me put them on the map as well. There are guards. Let me get Remy in off the combat tracker. What is this? Sorry, my daughter came in like screaming. I had to AFK really quick for like five minutes. Uh, Ope and his new, its new buddy, uh, are trying to rob a place. Oh, nice. That little shed back there? Yeah. Oh, shit. I accidentally closed that map. How do I get it back open? Is there a way for me to reopen that window, Lou? There you go. Oh, thank you. All right. Where are we standing at at this time? You are down here. So up the alleyway, basically. Not showing on mine yet. You have to scroll. You can hold down the um, middle mouse key and drag it up and down. Oh, okay, there we are. Looks like to. Can we go? O we can go over the rooftop. You can. And into that uh, a roof, or is that like a fenced in? It looks like a roof, right? 
with the, the junk on top of the store, I guess. I'm going to make Gord a B, because he's your buddy. Uh. Alright, so what were you asking? So, um, is this like a flat roof? Um, I don't know right how here? to Or right here? of those if Finally you hold down uh, middle and left click I'm sorry uh, right and left click you can drag and it'll make an arrow for you that is um, a building that is looks like to be a forging area where they would make like simple metals oh, like a lot like mm -hmm. okay hmm well, I think we need to go this way, across the roofs. All right. To basically where my arrow is. Mm -hmm. You can drag your character and move, and I'll tell you what you need to do as you do it. So first, climbing up into that building, you're going to have to give me um, athletics or um, acrobatics and a stealth check. Not so good. Okay, so you're going right. to start to try to scramble up the side of the building and fall. But you do so quietly. All right, so I need to try again. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Gorid will get up there pretty easily. Uh, you will fall again. He's going to toss you down a rope to assist you. You may do so again with advantage. Uh, give me a stealth to see how quiet you're being when you fall. <laughs> Not great. This is the look of this campaign. All well, these shadow dice are making me a little frightened. Alright, we'll hold right there and roll some initiative. Oh. Now would be a good time uh, to start rolling good dice, Noidy. Right? Let's, uh, Clean that up, clean that up. On the cobalt, scrabbling at the walls. What a beautiful image. Right there, you're about right there. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll right here. He can see you from that spot. And then, okay, so you're you're right there. And he's right here. You two see each other. Can I use deception to act innocent and like I wasn't just trying to climb this? Sure. Okay, here I go. I am going to... Try and act casual, like I was just uh, <laughs> casually. There is a rope here. dangling down the side of the building, however. I don't. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try and pretend like I don't know have anything to do with that. Okay. <laughs> he points. Stop. In your typical NPC guard manner. And then he's gonna uh, come towards you. This guy uh, will start coming this way. This guy will start coming this way. This guy will come out here to see what the fuck's going on, what the yelling's about. This guy's gonna come towards you. One. He can get right there. He's gonna try to snatch a hold of you. You can choose to act as he moves towards you, however. Uh, oof. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna scamper up the rope. If All that's right. possible. Roll me acrobatics. Oh, yes. You will get up the rope. He will stab you with a spear. At me. Stab at you, at least, I guess. He'll miss. All right. Well, the jig is up. It's time. What? We can't. We can't hide up here, or you know, lay low. I mean, and cool the guards off? are alerted. I guess you could chill out, but. They're not just going to stand around because they can't get on roofs. They can definitely get on roofs and alert the city guard. And Yeah. All right. So uh... So you're up here now. Yeah. This What's guy is a... going to shout a... back. There's a fucking cobalt over here trying to... I don't know what. Somebody go get the guard. What are you doing? He's fucking freaking out and sweating bullets, man. This is his first job. He's a newbie. He's going to be like, oh my god, what do we do? What do we do? 
shit. Um, we're gonna have to just. Uh, I don't want to die or go to prison. Can we can we take this guy out together? You want to take him out or will you want to run away? Those are our two options, man. He's gonna look at you with fear in his eyes and piss in his fucking pants. He'll say he's never killed anybody before. I've never killed anybody before. I've killed at least a dozen people today. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> look. <laughs> people today look 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 it's nothing we'll just that we'll seems just... to dishearten him even more and he begins to tremble you can't take this you need to leave get out of here he's gonna try to go he's gonna <laughs> turn to start to run away and slip and tumble off of the room <laughs> with a natural one wow you're gonna hear a resounding snap as he lands on his neck. Oh. <laughs> He's a, he rolled a one and a two. Good distraction, He's dead. though. Aww. See, I've killed at least a dozen people today. Alright. The guy will say, Oh my god, that kobold just killed a man! <laughs> <laughs> I am going to Hail Mary Run. Oh, where are you running to, friend? Away from the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I well, you know what? I are are all the guards running over into that area? Can the can I mean, the guards see is, me onto this on the going road? this way? Guards see me on the roof because I'm very small and that is a very high place. That guy's standing here trying to see up onto the roof. He can't see you, however. Hiding behind the chimney. This guy's gonna go here and be like, trying to. Hey, buddy, you okay? Oh my god, his <laughs> neck is broken. I'm able to tell he was a thief because he's got all like black on, probably a mask and stuff. Yeah. But... <laughs> I'm guy... going to chat. That I have, I have, I have stopped a a, oh. a robbery in progress, <laughs> and that they, they, they should be thankful that I, I have stopped this this criminal from from robbing this house. Mm. And I am going to a roll. Performance. Well, is uh, are you deception? Is fine. Deception or persuasion, whichever one. Uh, either or. Fuck. Three of them can hear you. None of them believe you. Oh, come on. Wait, the other guy might be able to hear you. Oh, this guy down here believes you. He's like, oh, what a nice kobold. You're welcome. <laughs> the other three are like, let's kill this motherfucker. I'm running away. I'm going to run uh, to the south into that, uh, that what looks like a over here. Is the one at the back not the leader? None of these are the leader, they're just guardsmen. Yeah, they're guards. Okay, you can go ahead and move your- are you gonna try to, like, leap from here to here, or- that's just a wall. Was, is that a- I couldn't tell if that was, like, a roof or what, what was I going That's just a, a wall. And that right there yeah. is a 25-foot fucking horizontal jump. Well, no, I'm gonna just- I just wanna run from there into that sort of fenced-in area that they can't get to. Okay. And uh, in there. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. Um, give me an acrobatics for jumping down off the roof. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hit the ground about here, landing very ungracefully. <laughs> uh, and realize there's a, there's that's a wall. You're trying to get over it when you jumped and you didn't make it. Alright, so I'm gonna climb up the wall. Um... Okay. This guy will just move right here and be staring at you as you climb over the wall. Hey, I just stopped a robbery. Give me a strength check. Strength? Uh... Yeah, he's gonna snatch you by your fucking throat. That'd be. well. Or you can do a dexterity as well if you'd like to try to break free.
Okay. So he's going to grab you, but you'll be able to squirm free and choose what you're doing now because he now has a spear that he's going to try to stab you with. Uh, Still trying to get into like some sort of safety, so I'm thinking I kind of want to go over here into this little area that he can't get to because there's a wall around it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if he walked over to that side, there was a door over there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still want to get over there. Get away from okay. him. Uh, you may move as you'd like. You're on the wall now, like right about here. All right, moving away from him, however, will grant him an attack of opportunity. I thought he was on... Okay, okay, I see what you mean. So he's going to try to stab you in the back. All right. He will miss! <laughs> All right, uh, so you're going to try to climb this and just top into here? Yeah, I'm hiding over here. All right, give me an acrobatics. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will fall here. He will walk over and while you are prone, stab you with advantage. Jesus. Me. Okay, well. I'll be hit a hard hit, too. Hit. Okay, you're wounded. Uh, he's These guys aren't just standing down there. They're going to come over to here. Wasn't that the guard who liked him? Uh, this guard right here is about it. They're like, he'll come out. Whoa, guys, what's going on over here, boys? Why are you guys attacking me? I didn't do nothing, man. The guard will tell you to stop running, then. Trying to stab me, of course I'm going to start running. All right, oh, what are you doing? You're laying on the ground. <clears throat> Get up and try and talk my way out of this situation. <laughs> yeah, let's see how that goes. All right, he'll let you stand up. Sure. Uh, come on, guys. I I stopped the robbery <laughs> progress, and all I got is stabbed and, and thanks. Yeah, they that ship already sailed. The three of them didn't... This guy be like, yeah, of course, we should definitely... I don't know, fucking... This guy's definitely here to help. Look at him. Look at that trustworthy face. I'm gonna kind of scooch around behind him, just kind of, you know, talking and walking behind him. Oh, yeah, he's not a bother. He doesn't trust you that much. He's like, whoa, whoa, oh, easy. I heard you might have killed somebody. I didn't kill him. Look at him. That guy had used all dressed for, for robbing people. He had a rope. He was climbing up and everything. Uh, this guy is not back yet. Okay. <clears throat> this guard will tell you that uh, he'll step forward and say, All right, we'll get you some bandages for your wound and we'll wait for the, the town guard to get here. How about you just give me the bandages for the wound, and I'll I'll get out of here. I'll leave. You won't see me again. We will call this, uh, and you guys can take all the credit for catching that thief over there. Persuasion. Wow! Hey. Finally, a decent roll. <laughs> <laughs> so, as a team, our strengths appear to be talking our way out of problems Holy that we've mainly shit. made ourselves. Okay, so these two guards here, they're like, nah, fuck that. These two guards are like, yeah, dude, sure. Um, so are they going to argue among themselves, or do I need to keep uh, arguing my case? Uh, no, guard one is going to step forward, and he is the guy that stabbed you already. He is going to try to grab a hold of you again. And he's going to tell you that you're going to wait for the town guard. <clears throat> uh, these guards are going to kind of back up a little bit. This guy, he got, he got you. Okay. Okay. Did he catch me? Yeah, he, he snatches you up, and he's going to... I don't know what the fuck he's going to do with you. I mean, he has manacles, but not cobalt-sized man. Oh, I know what he'll do. How big are you? Like three feet tall, I want to say. You're 20 pounds. He's going to put the manacle around your waist and then manacle you to something. So you're just dangling there. That is just cruel. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you can still try to break free, but there's two of them that are now attempting to manhandle you. Well, I'm going to wiggle and make it difficult for them. Can I do that? Sure. Not able to break free. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, you're going to be manacled, and they're going to just dangle you from this chain over here. 
All right. This guy will go back over here. Oh, I'm sorry, this guy. This guard will return with city guards. Who will? <gasps> Guess what they're going to do. They're going to arrest me, aren't they? They sure are. You are placed into custody once more, and your goods are taken from you. <laughs> well, at least you avoided the last jail, so... <laughs> I don't understand why I'm being arrested if I haven't actually done anything. Uh, I mean, you're a kobold. No, but I haven't done anything. A man died here. Kill him. These guards found you trespassing on somebody's roof. I mean... Now, does my membership in the uh, Thieves Guild afford me any, uh, I don't know, bonuses or... Yeah, bring I that mean... up with the city guards, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> what, like a lawyer? Yeah, I mean, do they help you legally in any... any... <laughs> no, not a new person who went out with one dude on the first job and he ended up getting his neck <coughs> broke. My fault, he did that to himself. True. Okay, so they're gonna drag you down to the the. You're back. You're right back where you started. Down to the judici judicial center. Story of my life. Nice. Uh, they're gonna leave you there until morning because the inquisitors aren't in right now. Whew. Party. We'll hop back to you. Noity. I don't know, man. I don't tell you. I'm sorry. It was supposed <laughs> to be a real easy <laughs> job. Yeah, but you partnered me with an idiot, so. I'm he not. was a rogue. You gave the game up to be fair with your uh, awesome run of dice. Right. Six, five, seven, that was a particularly hot streak. <sighs> you know what it takes to climb? Ten. That's all it takes. You just gotta roll ten. I need to put points in the acrobatics. Alright. Um... Man, so I'm I... in jail. You guys are at the inn having a nice nap and probably breakfast. Yeah. I'm going to sit in my jail cell and I'm going to bang on the bars and sing songs and bother everybody all night. The door they're gonna, won't open to you for the, the They're gonna come and put game. you they're gonna they'll just put you in a cage and sit you in the ocean. Right up to your neck. That'd be nice. Nah, they wouldn't do that just yet. They don't think you're they don't know you're guilty yet. They won't they won't pass that judgment. I'm not even guilty of anything. They'll let you bang on shit, that's fine. <clears throat> ah, well Okay. I'd like to treat everybody for, to breakfast at the uh, tavern today. Uh, sorry about <laughs> yesterday's uh, heist not going quite a hundred percent to plan. Yeah. Um, with breakfast also comes a message for Athelios from uh, the Templar that you spoke with last night, oh. affording you a uh, courtesy, saying that your dragon kin's cobalt has been arrested and is in currently being held at the judici judicial center. Ah, we have and that Blaze is being summoned to appear before an Inquisitor for his uh, Cobalt's crimes, if there are any of them. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Mischief maker. Aphelios <clears throat> gets up out of bed, stretches, pours himself a coffee, and starts eating his breakfast. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. I did say that we should ignore the kobold. Tobias also um, grabs a cup of coffee and eats his breakfast. I agree. Just <laughs> <laughs> then, Blaze is going to head down to uh, pick up his diminutive, diminutive friend. <laughs> yeah, have a breakfast first. Some nice toasty croissants. He, he, he's, he's had a quick snack before he. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Uh, while Blaze is on his way down, they're going to bring you into one of the Inquisition rooms. The Inquisitor is going to ask you what the hell you're doing on the roof. Well, here's what happened. So I was just minding my own business, walking home from, uh, from the tavern, and I saw this guy. And he had a rope and he was climbing up the side of that building. And uh, so I was like, hey, stop! And then he, uh, I scared him and he fell. And, um, 
I guess broke his neck or whatever. But anyway, the commotion made like those other guys, those other guards show up and um and uh, it scared me, so I ran up the rope too, you know. And um then they they blamed me for for that guy dying. And I had nothing to do with it. I was just <clears> telling them <throat> to stop to stop uh stop uh, doing whatever he was doing. He didn't look like he was up to any good. He looked like he was going to rob somebody or something. Now, the Inquisitor I'm a... will inform you that while the Simple Towns Guard may believe that kobolds are nothing more than vermin, I understand that you can possess the same intelligence as myself, um, and you have lied to me several times during that statement. How do you know I've lied to you? He's... I've been lying to him at same all. Same thing as before, like glowing eyes, that kind of shit. I haven't lied to him at all. Everything she said was technically truthful. Yep. She wasn't just on her way home from a tavern and then ran into the guy. Alright, I wasn't you didn't just shoot at him to stop. I was, okay, look, I'll tell you the truth. I was... She I told was him to go out. home, that's a way of working. telling him to stop. I was working, and then that guy started climbing the building, and and, <sighs> and I tried to stop him, and he fell off, and he died. But it wasn't my fault. I didn't push him or anything. And then uh, those guards tried to chase me, and they're blaming me for killing him, and I had nothing to do with it. All right, I got to figure out which Inquisitor you ha are working with right now. Roll me, a, roll me an eight-sided die, please, and don't roll an eight. All right, I'm back. Roll an eight-sided, you said? Yeah, don't roll an eight. Hey, a two. That is... Ooh. That's still bad. Not as bad as an eight, but still kind of bad. So the Inquisitor sitting before you is a dwarven man, and he looks like he is irritated that he has to be working this fucking early. He is going to just rub his forehead, and then he'll place down the stone coin and just just make a motion like, eh? <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> what, he, I know my, what this is. My coin? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I for them, but, I mean... I just, I just got into town. I didn't, wasn't robbing anybody. I mean, look at me. You saw all the stuff I have on me. I didn't commit any crimes. I don't have anybody's belongings that don't belong to me. He's just gonna pinch the bridge of his nose, just like I'm doing right now, trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do with your character. Cool no, say like, that go, based I'll, on. I won't, I won't do anything. Just let me go. And clearly, if you look at the body. You'll know that I had nothing to do with that dude just fell. I don't even know his name, I don't think. I don't remember his name. So I can't lie about that. And, <laughs> you know, He's I had gonna say, to do it. either you're one of the worst thieves that I've ever met, or this is true. Either way, you're going to spend the day in the stockade so the children can have a day with fun with you. Fair enough. He'll just shake his head, get up, get the fucking cobalt out of here. And what they'll that, take you away. What was that name of that place, Steve, that uh, somebody said, uh, if we're looking for adventure, we go to a certain place. Literally, the Glaring Gaze. Glaring Gaze, all right. Also, yeah, Noity, well, you now that. have two, two marks on your criminal record in this town. Yeah, all right. I mean, uh, I am a criminal. <laughs> they're going to put you in a nice little cage and let kids throw rocks and poke you with sticks for a day. Blaze. <clears throat> Can they uh, see me walking to wherever they're going? Yeah, you'll see Opie in a little cage being tormented by townsfolk children. <laughs> so I, I, I approach and see Oak getting um, tormented. And I just stop and sigh for a second. And I shout, Ope! What did you do this time? Yeah. Nothing, man. I was just, I was just trying to, you know, minding my own business, and some guy died around me again. Holy shit! Why I just it, thought of why something. Are you? <laughs> Go ahead, continue. What? I don't know. The guy fell off a roof, and they tried to blame me for killing him. I had nothing to do with it. Now here, here I am. I've spent a day here in this cage. <sighs> All right, I'll go talk to the Templar and see if I can uh, brush things over. My my cleric's uh, at his breakfast and had his coffee now. He's going to get up and say, should we go to the Glaring Gaze? I've heard there's uh, quite a bit of information we can get from there. Yeah. 
Let's go uh, find uh, what our fortunes the take The innkeep us. will thank you, Ithilios, for staying at such a, or staying at their establishment, and he hopes to see you again very soon. Bow my head, and I'll walk out into the north part of town. I'll walk down past the the temple place, and then I see um, Opie in the in the cage, and I just kick a bit of dirt in the cage. <laughs> and then I, I get to the I glaring gaze. <laughs> I get to the glaring gaze, and I go in and I look on the post board for. Jobs. Yep. Give him the I, finger, and I yell uh, and he's at him as he walks away. Also, as Remian is uh, leaving the inn, he buries his hand as deep as he can in the uh, in the jar of mints and grabs a handful and walks out. <laughs> okay, they'll just shake their head. It, such an, a prestigious Claire keeping company with such rabble. <laughs> uh. Um, oh, shit, I forgot. Athelios, before you leave, the innkeep will ask you if you could do him a favor. Yes. He will tell you that um, his son has been suffering from pain recently, uh, chronic pain. And he is wondering if you might take a look at him and tell him what he can do. He'd be happy to pay you for this. Oh, well, definitely. Yeah. Go okay. Roll medicine. Yeah, roll me a medicine. Medicine? On dice. I hope I can heal your son. Let me see what's wrong. It's a pair of shoes. Come on. <sighs> You're just not able to figure it out. Let me have another look at that. All right, you can do that. You can take two. Each one takes ten minutes, so you can try again. <clears throat> can you tell me a little bit more about the pain. Where is it? Uh, the boy will tell you that it feels like his shoulders and back are constantly hurting. Terrible. Let me see what I got here. Okay. So, based on this, you are going to say that you think that he might have some type of water-based poisoning that's slowly deteriorating his structure of his body. Oh, no. I have some salves that could help with that. Uh, lesser restoration would also help. Oh, definitely. I'll cast that. Okay. Do I need to roll to cast that? Or should I just uh, no, you you have it. It's a second level spell. Should I just click it? So that will ease his pain, but the innkeep will ask where you think the poison might be coming from. Hmm. Well, your hotel is based right next to a uh, quite a quite a underhanded rogues guild, so maybe your son has been poisoned while talking. Rogues to guild. You. He uh, looks. He looks shocked. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> he could just drop in bombs. There appears to be quite uh, some skullduggery going on at the establishment over the over yonder from yours. He will go. Sorry. He'll go to his safe and he'll return with one hundred gold coins and give them to you Ooh. for rendering aid to his son and for giving him such insightful information into what's been going on. You are very welcome for this. I'm going to give him 10 gold back. He'll shake his head, no, I can't. Please, take Mercy. it. Okay, and then I'll leave with some words of wisdom. I'm going to say, please don't mention anything about the rogue skill to people because I'm sure you're aware uh, I wouldn't want them to do anything to you and sometimes perhaps ignorance is bliss. He'll and nod and say, head. of course. Okay. Of course. Me. He'll say, P -p if you know of it, perhaps you could talk with them and see if you can get them to be more mindful of where they're dumping things so that it doesn't affect the water that my son drinks or plays in. Ah, okay. Well, perhaps we can give that a go. I'll speak to the lady. Yeah, well, thank you. Grasp your hand and shake it firmly. Give him a nice, friendly, firm shake and nod my head. Alright. To kick dirt in the cage. Okay. <laughs> wow. It already Quite. happened, so that's why I said it. <laughs> I'm going to give you all an overnight rest, by the way. There you go. Everybody's good and healed. All right, so party. <laughs> What's everybody doing? Uh, starting with, uh, I know what Athelia is doing. Remy, what are you doing? Um, I would like to go um, talk to 
the leader of the rogues guild and roll her double or nothing for my debt. You're not going to get a meeting with her. <laughs> <laughs> it's either okay. Well, um, double or nothing. Yeah, if I if <sighs> I if I if I roll lower than her, I get uh, uh, three hundred gold hour. If I if not, it's my debt's clean. No, she's you. You're not gonna get a meeting with her. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess I'm uh, following Phil over to the uh, boards to look at any jobs that are possibly listed. All right, Blaze, you're going down to check on Ope. Yeah. So um, just editing for the temp guard, and uh, I asked him to be one in charge of the Ope. All right. We'll come around to that here in just a moment. Let's see what Legon is doing. Uh, I'm going to quietly slip out the back while everyone starts heading. And I'm going to go back to the Rogues Guild. <laughs> Alright. Uh, to the desk. There are much, much fewer people, people here in the morning. And those that are here, they look like they are hungover. But, the man at the desk will look up at you and ask how he can help you, sir. I'm looking for work. Ah, uh, yo. Go ahead. I made the acquaintance of your good lady last night, and uh, she assured me that uh, we could uh, come to some kind of uh, arrangement. Yes. What profession do you fall under? Uh, I'm an enchanter. Hmm, interesting, interesting. He'll hand you some paperwork and say, if you could fill this out, just some base questions, uh, where I can find you when I have work that's suited to you, um, and what you're looking for in pay, and I will reach out to you as soon as I have something that fits your particular skill set. A job application form. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, uh, it asks what you do, how good you're, you are at it, what you're looking to get paid, and if you have a problem killing and stealing. Eh, no, no, no. Okay. Hey. Question, Lord. Hmm? About combat. So, what what affects how much you roll and, like, your negatives and stuff? Like, why did I have a negative one when I was rolling? Because your strength I... is low. Ah, uh, fuck. See, I should have built better. Alright, never mind. That's all good. How come I've got to fill out an application form and Ope just got given a... Uh... I, didn't, I did a, uh, had to do a sleight of hand. Yeah. He, they were oh, like, yeah. are you a rogue? Yes, you're a rogue. Okay. You, however, you're what they call an outside contractor. You're not a rogue, but you're still part of the guild. So they want to make sure that they use your talents. They got fucking hundreds of rogues. But who, else is, who else is in the immediate vicinity of me in the uh, front desk? Uh, there's a couple of people over by the bar, and there's a couple of people playing cards off in the corner. Uh, insight check on the general levels of the people in the room. Um, go for it. I'm trying to think who would actually be in here right now. Yeah, be. <sighs> Fuck off. Uh, nah. Unfortunately, it's you're not able to really glean anything. Nah, I just choose the nearest person to me at random. And hope for a bit of luck in life. All right. And cast <laughs> charm person. All right. Uh, they will it fail to resist, and you have charmed them. The man at the desk is going to look at you and say, "You should not do that. <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> don't do whatever you're doing." Uh. I instruct the person to come over to the front desk and right. uh, turn it to the man and say, uh, uh, pass the paperwork to the person and say that they'll fill that in for me and go and sit, take a seat at the bar whilst they All fill right. out my paperwork for me. Okay. Here we go again. <sighs> All right, we'll come back around to that in a moment. We'll resolve that in a moment. That's kind of like a trick, though. He's kind of proven his worth. Exactly. That's mind-altering magics on an unwilling target inside of a rogue guild. A member of the rogue guild that he is in. Yeah. Yeah, he, that's he even more him. impressive. 
Those That's guys bad. Together. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. Oh, someone's gonna end up owing more money. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not Remian. All right. Oh my God. Us. Where were you at? He was, uh... Aphilius was going to uh, the... To the uh, inn, to check the job board. Yeah. Yeah. How the job board. Okay. <laughs> there is a posting there. Um... Let's see here... Hmm. What is this? <laughs> so... Currently on the job posting board, there is a singular post, and it is written in a frantic um, uh, handwriting, basically. Um, and it states simply that there is one missing semi-intelligent skeleton about 5 feet 10 inches, and it was last seen wearing a green cloak. Uh, for further information, inquire at, and it gives an address. Should we go and uh, speak to the person with this address, Remian? <laughs> Remian is zoned out, staring at the barmaid's bosom. Wait, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a dice rack. No, uh, should we go? check. <laughs> What size is that girl? She has a dick. No, um, <laughs> so yes, a semi-intelligent skeleton is missing. Uh, first of all, that's necromancy, so you all would be like, hmm, that's weird. Mm. If the Inquisition knew about that, they'd probably, I don't know, fucking hang whoever brought that skeleton back to life. Mm. Can I roll a religion and see whether my Pious self is down with this or not? Uh, that's up to you. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm down with this. I'm gonna roll and then you tell me if I am or not. Hmm, should I do this necromancy quest? As a cleric of light, necromancy <laughs> is uh, you're not cool with it. Okay, I'll you're not cool with necromancy. I just ripped the note up and put it on the floor. Okay. I would like to roll an inside check to see if the barmaid would like to polish my sword in the other room. <laughs> Nobody's polishing anything of yours for the money that you have, <laughs> which is none. Okay, I guess I'll buy a beer for me and Remy and wait for the others to arrive. All right. Uh, the beers here are four silver a pop. What's the, what's the good stuff? Uh, you're looking at eight. Eight, eight silver for a good beer. Yeah. I'll get four. <laughs> okay. Jesus. <laughs> how, much, how much silver is it going at again? Ten? Ten. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> They'll bring you over four beers to start off your day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I already had breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They'll ask time. you if he can get you anything else. I had a big breakfast and coffee. Um, is, is there a bar in the in the establishment? There's not. It's too early for that. Uh, is there any kind of entertainment in the establishment? Not right now. It's just usually er, right now. It's just folks that are getting up. You know, some pretty groggy. So it's pretty quiet down here. Okay, I'll just have the beers and uh, say thank you to the barkeep. Yeah. You know, thank you for your or your patronage and continue with what he is doing uh we'll hop over to blaze now who is at the judicial center uh and looking to speak with an inquisitor who is on duty at the moment you'll have a dwarven man approach you and ask you what he can do for you i'm here in regards to the kobold could someone please explain to me what uh Ooh, can I sneak? A, sorry, can I sneak outside and put a bear in in Cobalt's cage, or would I get in trouble for that? He is very far away. Oh. You're at the north side of town, and he is like the middle back of the town, so oh, it's like mind, a no. ten twenty minute walk. Yeah, no, never mind. The dwarven man will say that the Cobalt was found at the scene of a 
death um, and claims that he stopped the man from scaling a wall and then got scared and scampered up a rope. Um, but your cobalt is a member of the Thieves Guild of this town, so anyone caught associated with the Thieves Guild serves a day in the cages or the scaffoldings uh, uh, on the sea or in the stockades. Well, um, is there anything that could be done to reduce his sentence? Like... And I, um, rub... You rub? What? I think you cut out. Cut out. Rub my fingers together, you know, like gesturing. <laughs> You're gonna try to rub the fucking corner. <laughs> What's the check he's, for that? He's gonna say, sir, I don't want your coin. And Okay, is there anything I could do as a gesture of goodwill that could um, help my friend out? Look, I heard about what happened. I heard about you and him trying to scale the wall. So there's a, one thing you could do for me is finish whatever you're doing in town and leave. That's it. <sighs> okay, then fine. I'll uh, head back out to talk to Oak. I'll just shake oh, his head. Uh, that's some bad news, bro. I'm just in the cage dodging tomatoes and rocks and stuff I get. You're gonna have to uh, hang out. Oh, for a while. Um, oh, we'll hold there for just a moment. Before you go out there, one of the Templars is gonna come over and shoo away the kids, and you'll see that he's. Um, actually, the one that was th speaking with Ithilios, he'll shoo him away, shake his head, and continue on. And then Blaze will be able to come out. Oh, so the kids aren't there? Yeah, not at the moment. You get a reprieve. Okay. Hope, uh, I've spoken to the Templars, and uh, they're not going to be able to reduce your sentence, I'm afraid, so you're going to have to hang out there for a while. All right. Fine. All right. Has I got any of his gear on him? Anything at all? Or is he... I don't think I have anything. I think they took all my stuff. Yeah, he's just a naked little cobalt right now. Right. Not I, even uh, the hat. Can I... <laughs> Not even the <laughs> hat. They took my hat, they took my fine clothes, they took my daggers. What's what's in an explorer's pack again, Walred? Uh, you could talk because you got... Um, if you go to uh, main, or I mean not main, uh, inventory. You can click on your explorer's pack and open it. Okay. So um, I've got a small knife. Can I palm that over to Oak while I'm talking to him? <laughs> as if I'm patting him on the back. Um, sure. And then um, I tell Oak, I'll, uh, we're going to be over at, um, at the... Uh, at the inn, so uh, come and find us there when. Uh, when Give me a sleight of hand, please. Jesus fucking Christ! What are these bad bro? Just throw it at me and stab me in the eye or something? The Templar that near was nearby and shoot the children away will step over and put a hand on your shoulder and just look at you listlessly like why? <laughs> and you will be detained. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Damn. That guy looks up from his beer and just. Damn. What? Oh, right. hey, we're at the place where there's jobs listed, right? Though, I, yeah. I'd like to look at the uh, possible jobs that, you know, any kind. Of, if there's any kind of bounty jobs or something. There was like only it. one right now. There is a bounty office you can go to, however. Oh, okay. Which is down where your friends are about to be. Okay. I'd like to start walking towards there. Okay, we'll come around to that in a moment. Blaze, okay. long story short, you're going to spend a day in the stockades. Can I throw a tangerine in? What's up, buddy? You sure can. And Let's you're going to get fined money for trying to pass a weapon to an, uh, 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 I don't know what's the word, an inmate. Uh, 20 gold. Well, I better get used to this place again. Can I roll an athletics check to see where I hit him with the tangerine? Sure. <laughs> He's stand, standing there in his undergarments. Uh, so, yeah. 
and he's in the stockade, so yeah. You uh, completely miss, and you hit open the face with it. Oh, oh. <laughs> totally worth it. Oh, boy. Uh, the dwarf is going to come by and let you know, Blaze, that next time he has to see you, he's going to hang you. Okay. Well, I think um, it's time to go on a vacation to another city. Oh, no. Nah. I'll point to the kobold and say it goes double for him. Yeah. How about um, we expedite that? You let us go now and we'll uh, skip Oh, out. no. No. I was thinking about doing it when you tried to bribe me, but I was just like, ah, oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> so. Wait for OP to get out of um, jail or whatever. She can go down to that guy in the Rose Guild and ask him information on that guy, Orin, right? Man, I'm not trying to be this harsh on you all, but you all have been rolling really bad. Yeah. You could ask at the Adventures uh, Guild if anyone's heard of the uh, Dwarf Phil. Yeah. I'm not even, I'm not hanged at this rate for like little things that just <laughs> Just a lot of them. The town's just like, alright, I'm just gonna get rid of them. So, uh, we know what Blaze and Oprah are doing. Uh, Aphelios, Rimian, Legion. We just finished our beers. And, and, I've... and uh, my application form's just about finished. Oh, I... right! I've got to deal with you still! Fuck! I have uh, gestured to Aphelios that I'd like to see if there are any bounties available while uh, our comrades are in holding. That's the case. Yeah. Uh, so y'all can start heading down to the bounty bo or the bounty office. I gotta deal with Legon first. Uh, Legon, you're gonna have a man approach you and ask you if he could speak with you for a moment. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Uh, first of all, release this man from that spell, please. Of course. Good. Right this way. No motion towards a, a side room. So you're impressed then, yeah? Very. Good. He'll lead you into the side room and close the door. <sighs> roll me uh, just a flat 20. This is a luck roll to see how lucky you are. Oh, God. Hey! Yeah. I, think so. I got dice. There are two men in here, and they're, you know, it looks like they're going to try to give you a good old-fashioned beatdown. But, mm, it looks like you're probably going to avoid that. They'll inform you that casting spells on other guild members while inside town is a punishable offense if you are a member of the guild. Um, the fact that you have not joined yet, and maybe common sense didn't dictate that you probably should do something like that, they'll let you slide on a warning this time. They'll give you a little pat on the shoulder. Just don't let it happen again. Okay, but it was impressive. All right. If he wasn't a piece of shit, yeah, but he is, so, eh. Eh, uh, well, you're all so deceptive, it was hard to tell who's the piece of shit and who's the uh, high level. If you've got someone who's uh, really difficult to charm, I'll give them a crack for you. He's just going to stick. Did we not just discuss what I thought we just, just discussed? Did that, did you, do we need to beat you? Good point, well made. So you're saying no to the uh, job prospects. Oh no, you we can still work for us, that's fine. Just don't do anything stupid. Also never mind. Actually, I'll let you figure that out on your own. Just try to act like a normal person. Just don't do anything obscene or strange, and you'll be fine. So you just want me to be, like, serious? He'll give you a pat on the back and say you'll figure it out. Off I go and again. Then you go. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to leave the Rogue's Guild and uh, go uh, look for the others, I guess. Alright, sounds good. <clears throat> Oh, before you leave, actually, as you're leaving, 
the man who with the application will say, uh, before you go, we actually have a job you can do right now. Cool. What is it? He will say that... <laughs> We're going to move channels for this so that the rest of your party doesn't try to interve intervene here. Hold on. No. Uh, move with... What he will chance? tell you that there is a bounty for one of the members who has been running a highwayman group outside of town, and he would like you to stake out the bounty office and see who's going to go and try to collect on it um, so that they can set up an ambush and kill them. Okay. I'll tell you that they're willing to pay you um, 30 gold coins if you can get them the information that they need. The bounty was just placed today. Who placed the bounty? Uh, the city itself did. What, is in the Templars? Uh, no, so the Templars are a religious group of the Temple of Justice. The city has its own guards, but the Templar kind of supersede them on some cases. Okay. Just so I can understand the uh, ergonomics of what I'm dealing with. Yes. So, yeah. So this is from the city guards. Right. The city guards themselves have placed it. Uh, last time I heard, um, Alethea. Who's, is who's her name. the uh, bounty uh, board run by? Alethea is her name. She likes to hit caravans, her and her boys. No, no, but I mean, who, who's the actual bounty office where they're going to see where there's, there's bounties available? Oh, yeah, he'll stuff. tell you it's near the judicial center. Yeah, um, who runs it? a bounty it? office there. Who runs uh, it? I believe it's Constable Ashglade. Right, so they want to see who collects on the bounty that's about to be posted. We want to see who's interested in it, who who's picks interested? it up. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Why are they? Why are they? Get, why are they paying someone to do that if it's their own bounty office, though? So the city guards are restricted to the city. They don't go out and patrol this uh, the roads, basically. Also, they don't want to see who goes to the bounty office to uh, who shows interest. They want okay. To see I mean, I can explain this straight. The Rogues Guild wants you to go and see who collects the bounty. Or who, I'm sorry, who gets the bounty to go and kill this person and bring them back. Are you asking who posted the job with the Rogues Guild? Well, I'm trying to, because, yeah. So who posted the job with the Rogues Guild? You said that's the... Oh, he'll, he'll tell you that he can't tell you that. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Job related to us. I am back. We are all gonna die, aren't we? <clears throat> Hello, number seven. All right, so everybody will basically meet near the judicial center. Where are we going to the adventure place? Then? You were already there, and then you went to the bounty office. Mm -hmm. Um, Tom, aka Legon, you're gonna find that Blaze and Ope are in. Well, Ope is in a cage, and Blaze is in the stockade. I've mentioned it several times. Don't mess with the kobold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't, don't mess with the kobold. Uh, um, try and find the uh, rest of uh, the uh, gang. All right. Yeah, you'll see him heading towards the bounty office. Yeah, I'll catch up with them, walk in with them. Hmm. Alright. Party, you will arrive at the bounty office. And you will find that there is an officer standing there. He's in a uniform and everything. He'll look up and say, hello, citizens. How can I help you all? Uh, when you'll set forward and say... We're just looking for any kind of open bounties um, to um, take on so we can make a little coin. He'll ask you if you are experienced in this kind of work or? Um, I have a very experienced fighter and uh, my party here is also, um, we are experienced in uh, looking for 
people. <laughs> okay, hold on and say that they had a job that just came up posted by the city. There's a highwayman and uh, her band of people that have been waylaying caravans. Her name is Aleth. Aleth? Alethea? Whatever. Uh, and if you'd like to collect on this bounty, you need to go and you can bring back her alive or you can bring her back dead. Your choice. Which one's more gold? It'll say that they both pay the same. Oh yeah. yeah. The bounty on her is sixty gold coins. Ooh, each. Uh, no, just for her. Is that the only bounty you guys got at the moment? Uh it is at the moment the only bounty that we have. With it being the beginning of the day, usually around noon is when we'll have a few more if there are people who are going to post. Uh do you have any other information of um when she would usually likes to say uh you said she robs people on that highway, right? Right. She likes to waylay caravans. Okay. Uh, typically, Any, we... Uh, from about when the next caravan's coming or something so we can be there? Uh, he'll say that typically uh, there are caravans leaving town every day. Uh, she likes to usually hit them about a day out heading towards Dry Gulch. Well, Remian thanks him and uh, says that he will take the job. If you can recover any goods or bring back any of her associates, we'll pay five gold per ban bandit that come you, you can bring back alive. One gold per bandit you can bring back dead. And any of the goods that are missing, you'll be able to um, retain a portion of the profit from it that the merchant would make. Okay. And he'll give you the contract. You have to sign it before you take the job. I will sign the contract. Yep. All right. Probably have to sign the contract as well. Okay. Only one person has to sign it, but if you both want to, that's fine. Okay. Right. He'll document it away. And right. he will present you with a... Um, it's basically like a makeshift badge, almost. I will pin it on my shirt. <laughs> He'll say you probably shouldn't do that. That'll get you killed. <laughs> I'll put it in my pack. In my in my pack. He'll just nah. There you go. That's better. How many people in this room? Is it just him? It's you and him. Uh, I what level is he? Uh... What was that? What level is he? Uh, give me an insight. Uh, probably third. Okay. He looks like he's probably a desk jockey. He's probably been working in the office for most of his life. Um, Before you do anything crazy, let me elaborate that there are other rooms behind him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Before you go trying to kill somebody in the bounty office next to where the Templar are. I wasn't going to kill him. I was more like, that's going to just tell him that he needs to give me the go to front and threaten him. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I'm just going to kind of hang back in the room while I wait for everyone else to leave. Okay. But I'm not going to do that. That was just an idea. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to um, nod, look over and nod to Adelius and say, let's uh, go check uh, this town square or whatever. Yeah, did we find out where to go and get that ambush? Yeah, he said on the way to Gulch or... Uh, yeah, a day's TV travel out of the, the city gates. Um, I begin to, um, conversate with Othelius and say, maybe we should go check that out. And by the time we get back, uh, they should be released by tomorrow. Ooh, we're doing it right now. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, if we... Wants... Hmm. They are in jail for 24 hours, so they're not going to miss us. You don't need us? <laughs> well, we're just trying to do something <laughs> while you guys are detained. Maybe <laughs> flip our situation around a little bit. Can't be having them get the fight with us. I would, I would Go ahead. be down for some 
bandit uh, capturing. But if we survive, we were in jail. Um, let us let us go see where Legon is, and maybe he would like to join us. With us. With us. Oh yes. No, no. Oh, I'm, still, I I'm still in the uh, thing. I'll be yeah. out with you very shortly. All right, so he steps, they step out, and you're staying in there for a moment? Yeah. Okay. The man will look up and ask you how he can help you. Uh, I'm going to chomp a uh, person. <laughs> Go for it. He resists. Oh, motherfucker. Why, Tom? Why? Okay. He's going to blow a whistle. Uh, can I use uh, Gust of Wind to blow that out with his hand before he gets a chance to blow it? Uh, you can roll me an initiative and see who acts first. Okay, what's that? What's that? Oh, you just roll INIT plus one on your your uh, character sheet. Ooh. Uh, sorry, which tab am I meant to be on? It's main, main oh, tab. Remember it says INIT. Oh, okay. Oh, oh come on! Go blow the whistle. Whew. Okay. It's not intelligence, not initiative. Yeah, INT is intelligence. Was it the INT on the other side? I was meant no, to it's, it's still, you really got a 13, it still beat you. No, because um, I've got plus 5 on, the, in, on, in, on the other side. Uh, it's right, it's, a, it's next to your AC. Oh, that one. Okay, plus one. I get yeah. you. Uh, Athelios, Remy, and you'll hear a whistle being blown from inside, and several of the guards that are standing around because this is the judicial center, is where the Templar and the city guard are housed. We'll rush over. I uh, I will run in ahead of the guards and detain Legon. And claim you don't know that what's I, happening in there yet. That I detained him. <laughs> you don't know what's happening in there yet. Legon. What are you going to do? You have a moment to act before the guards get there. Sorry, one second. Ethelios has no idea how they already made it to this town with this crazy charm in it. <laughs> you only have one more charm person, by the way, for the day. So, okay, so... Uh, one more... Uh, I'm going to try and charm him once more. Alright. It's the only thing I can do, really. He saves. Oh, come on. 16. Alright. Uh, so, the guards will arrive. Uh, the man will say that you're attempting to cast magics upon him. And the guards will turn to you to hear what you have to say. I've done no such thing. I protest my innocence quite uh, boldly and loudly and uh, don't know what the hell this guy's talking about and quickly make my exit. Near, no, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Roll me a persuasion to see what they believe. Uh, skills. Boy. Persuasion. There are three guardsmen here. He does not believe. He does not believe. That guy does. Cool. Okay. Uh, the two guardsmen are going to inform you that you are going to be placed in custody. And I've done nothing wrong. That's it. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. That'll be determined by the Inquisitor. The other guy is just like, huh, I believed him. So... Rimian and Athelios, are you going to attempt to stop this from happening? No. Okay. Go Legon, are out. you going to attempt any actions of the aggressive manner to stop this from happening? Do an inside check to see what level they are first, if you, before you say anything. Yeah, yeah, if, if they're shit, then we'll nail them. <laughs> if they are weak, we will crush them. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, roll me an inside, sure. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll an insight. I mean, I can run insight, right? Yeah. I'll go All right. Plus on it, so let me do it as well. Just All right. Because we're both there, right? We can both roll. Right. Okay. Uh, the guardsmen here are one eighth of a challenge rating, meaning they are not even level one. These guards in particular. Okay. Well. It really yeah, wasn't my fault this, this time, guys. I, I'll have to explain later, but it really isn't my fault. Um, can... Oh, well, where are they? Where are these guardsmen? Because I'm afraid, like, we're going to do this, and then, like, everybody in the street's going to see us. Yeah. Uh, they're inside of the bounty office right now, which is attached to the jail, which is attached to the guardsmen's barracks, which is also where the Templars base of operations is but yeah. these guards right here are weak they're just generally shit guards they're like you're running the mill trash yeah but and there are only three of them here and then a captain who's standing behind the desk who is a desk jockey but tom's arrested no idea. they have not yet placed him into custody you all can still kill them and you're gonna send every what you've got and kill us yeah, and then we get like level seven Templars on us or something from the other okay. other I room. The bar when we went downstairs and then, oh, we fell in a switch and got shot in the back. <laughs> no thank <laughs> <you."> <laughs> <laughs> We're out of here, man. We're gonna go and hunt that. Yeah, bear. I think we're gonna go to the bounty. All right, Rimian and Athelios distanced themselves. Legon, what about you, bud? What? You can do it. The greatest, the the great escape starts right here. You break yourself out, then you break out Blaze and Oak. And you three take on the town guard by yourselves right in front of the barracks. Uh, how many spells do I get a chance to cast? You have, I mean, you can, before, what, well, okay, first, uh, what do you mean? How many spells do you get but, to cast? Like, what, what sort of time frame action wise, because there's three people, like it's a one on three. Okay, so you can act for, they're not expecting you to just pop off. So if you want to start fucking banging away, then you get to act first. Okay. And then they'll react from there based on what you do. And I can't use a uh, charm person anymore. I've used that. You have one more cast of it. No, no, you did use yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, you have no more, no more level one spells. Okay. Lauren, why, why are you thinking about that? These features that I have on my ability screen, I can use any of these, right? Uh, yeah. Like second wind, and I just yep. read something. My fighting style isn't chosen though, is it? Or was I supposed to choose that already? Yeah. Um, what what does it say for my fighting style? Like, what fighting style am I using? Fighting style for you is. I don't know. You didn't choose one, I guess. Which one do you want? Dueling. Okay. It helped me out a lot last freaking fight I was in. Yeah, it would have. So you would have get a plus two on your uh, damage. I'm going to adjust that for you. Oh, shit. There right. you go. Like that. No, you're a quick. You don't get that. Yeah. All right. There you go. That's that. Now, uh, yeah. So give me, like, the layout. Like, where it, where is everyone compared to me? You're standing in the front office here. There are three guardsmen of low tier about five paces from you. There's a captain standing behind the desk looking like he does not want to have this escalate any further. Why do you have a star next to you? You tell me, man. You try to intimidate him? Say, hey, if you don't want this to go any further, then just let me go and we'll both walk our separate ways or something like that. I don't know. Persuasion on the guard captain. And say to him, I didn't cast anything on you. Tell these guys, but... Okay. So you've already took, taken what he perceives to be in ha a hostile action against him, so persuasion is going to be at a heavy negative. Uh, okay, intimidation then instead. Like All right, roll it. Saying the same thing, though. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I think you won is... that. Oh, it's first insight the other guardsman. Okay. Yeah, the captain is gonna just like. Mm, let, me, let me check his morale real quick. There's a little flicker the in the eye that makes him think. You know what? Maybe we don't want this guy popping off. The, the captain will say that he doesn't know. It, maybe he was wrong, but he could have sworn. The what? guardsman, however, one of the guards is going to step forward and give you a shove. And he's going to say, stop trying to throw your weight around. You're nobody here. Uh, I'm not sure I like being uh, handled like that. I've got friends at the uh, Templars Guild. I'll make sure they know about this. And uh, go gonna, to make my exit. He's going to grab a hold of you and try to slam you into a wall. Uh, dexterity to try and avoid that. Alright, go for it. Uh, is it literally just a dex? Yep, dexterity versus his strength. He rolls a 13. You roll a 9. You're slammed into a wall and he's going to try to handcuff you. Uh, cast hold person on him. <laughs> All right, roll. The, what, is, what is that? That's him rolling. Wisdom save. He will be held. That's and out. combat begins. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's guards, guardsman one is held. Guardsman two and three will pull their uh spears. Or well, they have their spears out. Which one's the captain out of two and three? Neither. He's not even engaging in the combat. He's like, oh no! And he takes off. <laughs> okay. Uh, how close are two so, and three to each other? Guardsman one is paralyzed. Uh, they're right beside each other. Um, so that was your action. Now we're going to roll initiative again on your sheet. It's I and IT. And we'll see who reacts more quickly, them or you. Not bad. <laughs> here initiative roll npc initiative 13 you can see their initiative on the the tracker as well if you go to the combat tracker what's that uh the two cross blades of the top at the top of where uh, oh right sorry yeah, yeah yeah i see i see they're both gonna try to step fuck okay this is fine so the one's going to critically stab you. Ugh. It is your turn. Uh, Remian and Athelios, you can hear a ruckus in there, and yeah, there's a fight. <clears throat> is that um, It's your turn. Okay. Uh... Remian... Uh, Remian wants to take advantage of the chaos and cut open the cage that his companions are in. Is that a thing? Can I do that? Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, it, it, I'm just asking before I do that. I haven't made a decision to do that yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> leaves the front gates of the, the city. <laughs> well, <clears throat> if he if if Tom is um fighting them, I mean, who who is watching the cages? Uh, is there somebody literally watching? okay look so this is where all the templar are that are not out doing things and all the guardsmen are here this is gonna be like this is the main epicenter of the ju judicial power of this city okay well i'm not doing that then <laughs> uh the captain takes off by the way uh lee he's he's booking it he's not trying to fight he's a coward all right can I create bonfire between him and the exit? Uh, what is create bonfire? Yeah, he'll shriek. Uh, Remian, Legon, you're not engaging in this combat. Um, Athelios, you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Athelios. What do you want to do, Athelios? You there? Yeah. 
think you might be muted. you Ramian um I'm I, I don't want to I don't know I don't want to engage this yet but I just can, can I just run over and see what's going on like just yeah check it out all right I'm gonna you run, can run into there. the building you'll see you that there are all right. three guardsmen here one of them seems to be paralyzed against the wall uh, uh two, two of them are stabbing Lee gun with spears <laughs> <laughs> okay um I run over and uh I, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna get fucked either way. If I if I if I, if I try to help you, I'm probably gonna be fucked too. I don't know. Um, what do you? <sighs> um, they're less than the first level. With level three, we'll absolutely cream them. All right. Well, uh, I run over there and. Um... I don't think you should. If Elio says he doesn't think you should, after. Tom was talking to the Rogue Guild Master in the different room. He thinks Tom is trying to get us killed. Thinks uh, Tom wants a cheeky one. Athelios, you're gonna realize... Actually, you know what? Everybody roll a fucking intelligence check, and I'll tell you if your character understands what's about to happen. Alright. How do we do that? Uh, just roll intelligence. On your sheet, intelligence. <laughs> okay, Blaze, your party members are about to have the steel gauntlet of justice so far in their colon that they are going to taste the lacquer of the leather inside of it. That's what's do about even, to happen. Do I even know what's going on? Am I not in a cell inside? No, you're outside you're in the stockade. Out. Yeah, I thought we were outside. Okay. Yeah, you, you two are fine. They, you two are already apprehended. You're not doing anything wrong. We're just chilling. For the, for the record, I haven't done anything wrong either. Yeah, Rimian... Athelios also has not done anything wrong. Rimian... Rimian uh, hasn't done anything yet. Rimian runs over and... Um, punches League on the face. And that Jesus him. Christ! <laughs> wow. <laughs> he, says, he says, sorry about my retarded cousin. <laughs> Roll me a 20. <laughs> Uh, for what? Just, just roll me a 20, that's to punch him. You'll swing and a miss. Ligon, Rimian is trying to punch you in the face. What are you doing? It's your turn. What is happening? <laughs> uh, I think I know what Remian was trying to do. Uh, I turn to Remian and go, Cousin! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm assuming you're not what you're not gonna press this combat any further then? Nope. No. Alright. Alright. I've gone full retard. Yeah, that that ship is sailed, brother. Uh okay. They're gonna take uh Lee Gun into custody. And they're gonna tell Rimian that he should he should probably uh, find somewhere else to be, that kind of thing. And Rimian is gonna say, "You are welcome for your help in apprehending the, sus the suspect." <laughs> okay. No, I ask wow. you what you know of this man. Say what? They'll ask you what you know about this man. Any information you can give them, they'll be happy to pay you. I will say that. Uh, he, I, I think he is new to town, and that he, um, I saw. Do so you know him. what kind of magic user he is? Um, I, I do not think he had evil intent. He usually it does magic to help people, but he's been a little off lately. So I do not blame. Him. If Elias allowed, we've just been at the bar drinking beers as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Templar is going to tell you that he's going to be executed for using offensive magic in, against somebody who, or well, one of the guardsmen. The, the guy said he's. Oh, well, the other. I suppose the other magic was offensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I didn't actually use it on anyone. I just. I mean, you held person on the guy. Yeah, okay, that's offensive. 
Uh, so he'll be drowning. He held me. He held me first. Yeah, but okay, we'll come around to that in a second. You'll get your chance to make whatever argument there is. So they'll they'll tell you that if you have any information about the criminal, they'll be happy to pay you for it now, and the guy will produce a pouch of gold and jingle it tantalizingly. Um. I mean, what 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 is he? I don't know what he considers good information. His name, just... where he comes from, why he's in town, oh. who he works for, why he would use magics like that on guardsmen, Can why I he was trying to. And and try and talk the guards out of it and say this is just a big misunderstanding. We're actually going to do a mission for this guy, who just give us a, a contract, and I've got the contract in my hand, and we're going to do a mission to help your town and apprehend mm. making caravans mm, from your Yeah, town. That, and that's not gonna fly. So right now this is in the temp or the inquisitor's hand. They're gonna turn him over to inquisitor because he was okay. So let me explain everything that is now occurring. The Templars uh, originally thought that there was something going on with him based upon how things began um, and how he kind of got lumped in with Opie or Open Ope Blaze. Uh, but then they're like, eh, okay, maybe not. And then. He shows up again today, and the the worst thing that he did, though, was trying to fuck with the bounty office, which is... That's that's rough. Um, so we'll go from there. So the persuasion role's not happening, even if it's a 20. The, these aren't the guys you need to persuade. It's going to be the Inquisitor who's going to be questioning him. Well, um, Remian offers, uh, his aid in any way possible, um, and says that, uh, he doesn't know if, um, he doesn't know if they will give you, oh, is, sorry, uh, go ahead. It is dangerous, he's just not all there in the head. They'll thank you, and thank you for your aid during the fight and oh. the, your distraction. Did one of Tom's uh, other uh, personalities come out in the? Yeah. Place? Is that what that's, happened? That's what I'm trying to. Y'all don't know about that. Well, I'm trying to just say that I, I've seen him acting weird lately, and I don't think he was. It, that was really, you know, his intent to be harmful. I'm just trying to assure they them that he's not you, even like this. They'll offer you ten gold coins for your assistance. Oh, thank you. And I will <laughs> mail those ten coins oh, oh. straight to the rogue leader. I've got some assistance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, sure, give me a persuasion to see if you can talk to, be like, yeah, I help. Yeah, they'll give you, <laughs> shit, they'll give you 15 gold coins. Obviously, what? a man of such stature <laughs> clearly was of much aid. They'll even up head. Remians to 15 as well. He melts his head. Okay. So, uh, Lee, you're gonna go to one of the special cells. Uh, so this cell is built for people with magics, and while inside of it, you can feel that your ability to tap the arcane is hindered. Good stuff. Um. Uh, say uh, I need to speak to a Templar, it's an, of an urgent nature. The Templar that is guarding the door will turn towards you and say that he is right here, speak. Awesome. So... There's a mole working at the bounty office who's getting people killed, and we need to stop them, which is what I was trying oh, to do. Oh shit, he's doing it! Alright. The Templar will look grave at this news and say, how can you prove this? Do you think any other reason why I would have uh, gone in and tried to randomly charm a guard of a uh, bounty captain full of uh, guards? I had to, it was the You're only play. Magic user, driven mad by your dark powers. Do I look mad? Desperate for a moment. Desperate and mad is not the same. He'll hold up a hand. Hold. I'll get the the Inquisitor. Oh, that guy could tell if you're lying or not. I mean, we just opened a whole new can of worms. This is gonna be fun. All right. Oh. 
a few moments will pass, and the Inquisitor will enter. Uh, not any of the Inquisitors you've met. This man is wearing vestments of a high Inquisitor. You'd guess that he is probably the leader of the Inquisition in this town. He will enter your room as casually as one would, if, you know, just coming in to sit down and eat dinner with you. And he will look at you and say that he is here to hear... He is here to hear what you have to say. So... The bounty office, which is run by the city guards. I'll nod. There's a plan to infiltrate the bounty office to kill anyone who does any work for the city guards, thus undermining the entire rule of law uh, and allowing a widespread corruption to go through the entire of the city. They're going to kill my friends because they've just taken one of your bounties, which is why I tried to charm and get rid of the contract so that my friends didn't get killed. He will nod and sit down on the cot, stroking his chin. And you will see in his eyes the fanatical fires of somebody who is completely and totally devoted to their religion. And he will say softly, I knew. I knew that the city guard could not be trusted. Did he know, though? <laughs> he will stand and say, Templar, round the guards up. All of them. Templar will walk away. He'll turn towards you, and he will say, Where did you gather this information from, son? The Rogues Guild. I've infiltrated them. He's going to place a hand upon your shoulder, and he'll say, You are truly doing Tyr's work. He smiles upon you. It's what any, anybody of good standing would do. He will nod and say, A man of such ability and prowess, will you not join the Inquisition? I, I, I couldn't take such a, a, a lofty uh, mantle. Uh... Hmm. Tell me you are already with... Uh... Actually, how, do, of, how does the uh, Inquisition pay? He will smile, and he will say that he knows of your type and your need for gold and knowledge. And the Inquisition has both of those in ample supply. Spell supplies are expensive, man. He'll nod. Be aware of what you're about to do. This man is a fucking religious fanatic. Can I roll to see if I'm the same religion? You are not. Yeah, so uh, I assume there's some sort of application form I've got to fill in stuff if you uh, leave that with me and I'll uh, drop that on by. He'll uh... pull his robe to the side and show you his chest where there is a brand. He'll say you only need to take the mark of the Inquisition and bond yourself to it in blood. Jesus Christ. Yeah. The thing with that is I'm like super allergic to branding. It's a uh, family He is condition. going to place his hands upon your shoulder and say, either way you will serve the Inquisition, either in life or death. That is your choice. Well, how about, how about... I just help you with this bounty thing first and then we, we see where we go with uh, the rest of that, yeah? He'll smile and nod and then depart the room, closing the door behind him. So, playing everybody off against each other is working out really, really well. I'm going <laughs> to leave. <laughs> uh, Opie, or Open Blaze, you are going yeah. to be taken from the cage and from the stockade and brought inside. Uh, Stay out there. <laughs> and put in cells. You two are in the same cell this time. Uh... Athelios and Remian, you're going to see guardsmen being basically round up by Inquisitors and Templars. Which is going to broil over into basically guardsmen fighting Inquisitors and Templars in the street. Uh, so yeah. What the hell are y'all going to do with that? 
Sounds like it's a bit too high here for us. <laughs> uh, I want to do an inside check to see um, if there's anyone weak enough for me to fight. Yeah. You can start murdering some guardsmen or some uh, uh, Templar initiates. Well, hey, does inside tell me how much gold they have on them to loot? <laughs> no. Okay. Good guys here. Uh, yeah, that depends on your perspective. Well, Who's on our side? Obviously, I'm gonna go for the guards because the Templars are the ones that control the guards the are jail. decisively losing. How far away yeah. am I from uh, being able to tell them what's going on? Uh, you are locked in a cell still. Oh. Alright, so, insight. Um, where's the nearest dude near me that uh, I could uh, help, or uh, a guard that's weak that I could, you know, take on, basically? Yeah, I mean, okay, so you don't, if you want to join the Inquisitors in fighting, you, you can just do so. You don't have to roll anything out. Okay, well, yeah, but I'll do that. You can tell by the trend of the fight the Inquisitors and the Templars. Uh, okay, so first of all, the High Inquisitor will join the fight and begin raining holy fire down upon people in the streets which is a fantastic thing to see um then the uh templar guards the high templar basically will join and those are nine 14th level paladins uh that will start cutting down guards and basically what's going to happen is through the course of the day there's going to be a coup where the inquisition takes over this town I'm definitely, like I said, I was definitely on the Inquisition side. Yes. I want to run in and start, you know, slap, hacking and slashing on the guards and helping the Inquisition. <laughs> okay. Cool. Nathalios, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to cast some kind of spell on him so he does it better. Child all right, him. good. So you all will join the Inquisition in butchering the guardsmen. Good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. What should I cast? Bonus uh, you can bless him. You can, you know, all kinds of shit like that. It's not really much of a fair fight because the guardsmen are like six level and under, and these Templars are, you know, seventh level paladins and up, and the they've got clerics and all kinds of shit like that. So it won't take very long. Um, and are, we, are we positive that the guards are bad here, or not? Because if not, I want to roll like a perception. <laughs> And try and Good and bad is completely okay. So first of all, the high te... the high inquisitor is a fucking religious fanatic. Like you can tell that this man is insane. Um, with or without us, but... or Athelius, they are gonna dominate the guards. So we might as well be the ones that are helping them. Yeah, but if we could, if we could stop it with words, it'd be better. They're no, they're not stopping this it's with words. Yeah. No. It's okay, basically well, like, yeah. The Inquisition has made a decision that the guardsmen of this town are corrupt, and so they must be cleansed. Where should I? Where are my spells I can cast? Uh, they should be on your character sheet and actions. There's nothing you're going to do to change the course of actions of this. It's I just know, basically what you want to do during the process. Oh, I suppose I could go to the bar and get another beer and watch. Maybe. There you go. <clears throat> okay, I'll do that. I'll go to the bar, grab a beer, and then sit down and watch. Okay. So, the rest of the day will unfold with guardsmen, uh, the town council, f folks like that essentially being arrested, detained, being brought in, uh, questioned, what have you. Um, Blaze, Ope, and Lee Gone. You're going to have the recruitment spiel that Legon went through have occur, basically. They're going to come forth. Well, the High Inquisitor will come to you, Blaze, first and ask you if you will join the Inquisition. We have okay. an answer. Um, let me think a moment. So, hypothetically speaking, if one were to refuse to join the Inquisition, um, what would happen? He will clutch his hand and say, I'll cast you upon the kindling with which I will build the fire that will burn down the corruption of the city. 
I tell you what, I'm all about fire, so I'll join you helping uh, burn out the corruption in the city. <laughs> Very good, brother. He will free you from the cell without another question. Oh, same question to you. Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, uh, sure, yeah, I'll, uh... Um... He will take a knee, and he'll say, you are surely blessed, for even the smallest and most insignificant can become not mighty when serving a good cause. And he will give I you look a at hug. Him. I, I just smile and nod and look at him like, okay, buddy, and sure. Then he will say, Go. Go to the barracks yeah. now and then get your brand. I, leave. I run out of there as quickly as possible, but I do not go to the barracks. I'm going to the thieves' guild. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There are Templar everywhere, and they're like they're like waiting for you to come out so they can take you to the barracks. But I will allow that to be an option. You try to do that. See how that works out. Uh, we'll do uh, that in a second. I feel like we've done that game before. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I all like for you trying to escape from this without getting branded. I don't feel like Ope would be like, yeah, no, I'll just willingly go get branded. I think Ope would be like, yeah, I'll go do that and then take off and go the other direction. Yeah. Lee gone. He'll enter your room again and ask if you are prepared to receive the holy fire of Tear. Prepared's a strong word. He will nod and say that it will hurt, but soon you will know the retribution upon the wicked that is our justice. Very begrudgingly, I leave. <laughs> All right. He is going to have, you know, he'll tell you to go to the barracks, basically. <laughs> so the three of you are being freed, to, being told to go to the barracks. What would you like to do? Uh, I assume that the uh, the uh, Templar. Uh, Headquarters is uh, pretty empty if they're all out fighting guards. Uh, it, the fighting's pretty much over when this is occurring. Okay. I was gonna have a great idea. Can we uh, see how many people are? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tide. What was that? Can we see how many people are? How many got? How many the Templars and stuff are around us? Between us and. Uh... Our exit. Uh, so there's upwards of probably 300 to 400 Templar and Inquisitor. But as far as making an exit, uh, yeah, you can make a shot for that. Where are we? Where are we at the moment? Describe the area we're in. You are leaving the prison area, uh, in the judicial center, which is where they've got the guardsmen that aren't dead and the city um council on their knees out in front of um the prison and they're branding the guards that have a joined agreed to join the temple or the templar in the inquisition they're branding them out front here and those that aren't there moving them over to the scaffolding where they're going to be hung and is it, this is outside in the open yeah in yep. out in the open and once I'm... you get out of the prison it doesn't seem like the paladins are really paying attention to you all like they know what's going on like you're supposed to go and get the brand so they're just like oh just more citizens that kind of thing but this is all open air you say yeah okay um but we've been released and we're just like wandering to the barracks yeah, basically. That's where you're instructed right. to go, but nobody's forcing you to go there right now, it seems. Okay. Uh, can I talk to Open Blades without anyone overhearing us? Yeah, probably. Over the screams of people being branded and other people weeping as they're about to be hung. So I'm not about this getting branded. Right? <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, oh, me. yeah. You would see <laughs> Remy, and I forgot. Uh, after you helped them, they would have been like, yes, brother, you can join us and take the brand and join our fight. And, uh, I would say that, um, my soul is already branded with your justice. I need no brand to show <laughs> my devotion. They'll laugh heartily. Yes, of course, a joke. Right this way. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Well, I guess I will, uh, I mean, uh, start heading towards the barracks as well. <laughs> Wait, Ty just left. There he is. Guess I'll just start heading that way as well. All right. You'll see your buddies getting released from prison and walk around like, ooh, Jesus. Yeah. I will go up and um, greet them and uh, start I'll walking walk with them towards the, towards the barracks. Or wherever they said. And then that's when I think Tom, I mean, Lee you were, you were, you were fixing to say something to uh, our companions. Yeah. So, there's like two ways out I see. Either one, we just try and slip past and pretend that we already got the brand. Or two, I could conjure my floating disc and we could use that to fly out of here. Um, I think number two is um, our best play, to be honest with you. These guys seem to want to check everything. I think we need to leave town as quickly as possible. <laughs> this is yeah, the best place. And, uh, runs over to everyone. Hey. <laughs> he just jogs up with a beer in hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's been having a good time. <laughs> If Elias jogs over, what's what's going on? So uh, good of you to join us. To to sum it up super super quickly, uh, someone's gonna try and assassinate you guys if you don't uh, for killing the person that you're gonna try and kill. Uh, but we've got to try and assassinate them, and they want us to get a brand. So I'm saying. We quietly fly out of here and then leave town and hope that we have better luck somewhere else. Hmm. <laughs> this sounds like a wise idea. Sounds like, like... Um, religious fanatics. Because otherwise we're going to get oh, killed by back. guardsmen, religious fanatics, or a rogues guild. Oh, you're going to see a rogue in one of the alleyways. It's the guy who helped you at the bar, tried to keep you from dying. He's gonna like he's motioning for you all to follow him. Like, please notice me and come this way. Come on, guys, let's follow this rogue over here. Sold. And I yeah. run the rogue. I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to convince these dumbasses to follow me. I'm just gonna take off after the rogue. Like, hey, he's gonna take a knee and be like, "All right, look, I don't know what the hell's going on, but y'all need to probably get up one out of here. It's about to get real bad real quick. I'm leaving too." Um, That's the fastest way out of here, man. He'll tell you that if you go to the south wall, that there is a passageway inside of one of the old buildings that was a distillery. It'll lead through a tunnel underneath the wall and let you out a little bit ways away. All I, right. for one, I'm getting on a ship. I'm going the fuck away from here. All right. Did everybody hear that, or do I need to run over and tell them? No, I check the... Um... I think that'd be our best bet. Let's get the fuck out of here. And he will jog off. Is he going straight there? Are we following him or? Oh, no, he's going towards the dock. He's sending you all in a different direction. Right, okay. <clears throat> are there any dead bodies laying around? I need to. There are! May we loot them? May I loot them? You can roll me a percentile and see what you can get. That would be a percentile, yeah. If you right-click on the 10-sided die, there will be a percentage sign there. You can roll that, and it'll do a 1 to 100. Where's the percent? Where's the 10-sided die? It is the third one from the left and fourth one from the right. No, he's supposed to roll it right. Yeah, she's the one looting. Is that right? Are you sure you want to loot things, Athelios? You're a cleric of the good... Life oh, yeah. domain. Yeah, she's looting dead pocket. bodies because she's a rogue. <laughs> 69, though. <laughs> distasteful to you. I don't get that right. Yeah, you did it. Uh, okay. Noity. Roll me a 20 sided die. Okay. You're going to find uh, money, basically, gold coins equivalent to 21 gold. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, I look at Opie with disgust. 
Because <laughs> I don't care what Beauty Two Shoes think. Well, are we getting out of here or not? Yeah, I think we should take the uh, tunnel that the rogue suggested um, versus trying to fly out or uh, anything else. Fight out. Okay. I just like to say flying out was still a cool idea. Oh no, it'd be totally cool. I just don't think we would be able to pull it off. <laughs> oh no, we'd, we'd get shot with arrows straight away, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you are going to head south and try to escape the city yes yeah. yeah. absolutely we all go running south all right Athelia, you what was that? Who was i thought that? you were going to add something no i'm going all right the passage in the water. You all will be able to easily find the old distillery and soon find the passages that will lead you out of the town successfully without any kind of other uh, interactions occurring. Uh, once beyond the walls, this, the world is yours. What will you do? Hey, whoa, question. Um, do we have to update our own gold? Because I didn't see any gold put in my thing, so I just put 15 in there. Yeah, yeah, you want to update your own gold. Although I've been uh, doing it sometimes, I can't. I, I don't always have the luxury yeah, yeah. of being able to stop what I'm doing to do it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That's I just. Oh, you, Michael. Okay. Yeah, you should put fifteen in yours too, Phil, because we got fifteen for. Oh, yeah. Although that can make me feel crazy real quick. True. <laughs> Remember the time I looted that thousand gold? <laughs> uh, All right. So. Sorry. Do we have a map? A map what of do what? we see? What do we see? Where can we go? I mean, you've got... Okay, let me... We are leaving the city burning behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally started a civil war. Let's move on. It doesn't have yeah. to be a crazy... Religious thing. war. <laughs> it's fine! Hold on, let me get you the world map. You never did find out about the Mind Flayers. <laughs> sure you did. I think there's. I think this has something to do with them. <laughs> Mayhaps indeed. So if we head towards Dry Gulch Keep, we're probably going to get robbed. We probably don't want to do that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? <sighs> that would be totally what would happen to us too. I just want to get in a fight and swing my mace. I'm guessing our uh, our bounty's no longer, you know, um, applicable since they probably killed everybody in the bounty office. Yeah, probably. Uh, that's a safe bet. Although I'm gonna let that load real quick, and I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be right back. If we kill the highwaymen, we can still rob them. Of course, True. if they even exist, though. Well, it's whoever tried to collect the bounty after killing them that was gonna get oh. marked, so. Let's set up a uh, honey trap and we'll stalk in the background and then we'll capture them in the act, make a bit of money and avoid getting robbed at the same time. Could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Every one of our <laughs> plans so far has come just like that. Oh my god, our fucking... Heist went so south so fast. <laughs> I know. In retrospect, I should have charmed her instead of bringing the money to me. Got her to uh, uh, just walk out of the front door. Yeah. Or had her do your fighting for you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure she would have been bombed. <laughs> the uh, what's the name of our town we're in? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, uh, Hillary, we're in the uh, eastern coast. Top right. Just before... Uh, that's where the star is. Oh, I wasn't looking at the west coast like an idiot. Okay, so we can go either inland or maybe try and find a boat or something. So we got... Turga on to the south, or we can go <laughs> Dry Gulch Keep, <laughs> or Holbeck. Looks like it gets deserty to the south. 
Isn't that where we just came from? Yeah. And now the voice is going to start the second we leave again. No, I don't know. It's just fucking hard to move around on this map. As soon as I zoom in, it like locks. Uh, if you press another mouse, you should be able to move it. It's weird right. control. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Oh, are you looking at it on the battlegrounds? On yeah, on the ground. Yeah, you just gotta click in that, hold that little uh, gold thing on the bottom right when you zoom in, and you'll be able to move. You can also do middle mouse button. Um. Okay. Well, that So it's Dry Gulch, go down into the desert, take a boat to Leafside, walk up northish along the coast. Are we, uh... uh... Walk with this world yourself, already? Yeah, I made it. Uh... No road from Ellery to Dornwich, huh? There is not. Is that forest? Is that what that's supposed to be through there? Yeah. Is that supposed to be forest? Thanks! No, 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 I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like, I don't know, swamp or something. Nah, it's forest. What your little legend means. <clears throat> Leafside looks pretty cool, man. The big continent full of fucking forests. Looks elfy. Yeah. There's elves over there, aren't there? It really looks elfy. <laughs> I know. Willowdale <laughs> looks proper halflingy. I mean, are we looking to go towards a, a city? Or what are we going to go to these little little towns? <laughs> I don't know. I would say almost we go to the keep and get through the mountain. I mean, if we are going to... That is where you're wanted, Noity, by the way. Oh, fuck, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> You're wanted, and we'll be murdered. We will not go to Dry Gulch Keep if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> uh, the voice is going to start the second we leave town. Uh, I guess you ought to find out. Also, Blaze, you're from Rothermore, so you would know that Dornwich is supposed to be a town of people who are worshippers of uh, fiends and demons. Awesome, we should go there. Uh, I'm not going to party. Wise. Hmm. Fiends and demons. I don't think that's. Yeah, we grab a goat on the way to sacrifice one at the so, gate. Turgoran. What do we know about Turgoran? Uh, that's where you are from. Okay, so don't want to go back there. Hometown. Yeah, you probably, probably burned it behind you or something. <laughs> Except yeah. you went to the college in Dermont, uh, Legon. That's where you went to mage school at. Dermont. Where's that? It's uh in the middle of the continent. I need to find like a dungeon, get some riches. Oh, I'm sorry, you are actually from Oasis. Uh, Turgoron is a small city, or sorry, a small town on the edge of the desert, uh, and they call it the Last Watering Hole because basically you stop there before you try to cross the desert to get to Oasis. That looks like the safest place to us, unless we try and find a boat and go to Leafside. Get a boat in Turgoron? What was that, uh, Ephelis? I want to get yeah. To... I think we should go to Turgoron and get a boat, and then we've got loads more options. Yeah. Is that a thing we can do? I don't you, see the port try. icon. The port icon on Turgoron. That is at. correct. It's because it's not a port. Oh, okay. I guess that's not happening. Hmm. We don't have to stay on the road. We can try and get through the mountains in other places besides Dry Gulch. Correct. Go towards somewhere like Holbeck and try and cross. Okay, but the only road would, unless we 
across uh, across the continent would probably take us along those bandits who are robbing people on the way to Dry Gulch. So we probably should prepare ourselves for an ambush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that could be money for us if we beat them. Oh yeah, definitely. Indeed. I reckon we should we should set ourselves up so they try and rob us. Well, if we've got if we're looking for them, we determine we decide when we're going to attack. So we could scout for them, not let them surprise us. If that means we have the advantage, tactical advantage. I'm up for that. Remy and Phyllis, you yep. up for uh, killing some bandits? I am. All right. Let's see here. We set so, off on the road. The path you will take is the road heading to the southwest, yes? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I like the way you said that. What? Yeah, it's the Why? only road. <laughs> <laughs> so the road you're taking is the only road. <laughs> gotcha. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. But we're specifically looking for the uh, bandits so we can rob them. Or a dungeon. Whatever. We just want money. Or a dungeon. Y'all have never heard of there being any dungeons or anything like that. But... We're gonna explain. Yes. Who knows what there is out there, right? Mm-hmm. History check, do I know what's out there? Uh, roll me a history. You don't, you seem like you probably fell asleep in history class from your last couple rolls. Oh. Yeah, history really was not your subject. I knew about the uh, affiliates. Uh, yeah, and then everything else since then, not so much. So if, if we all heard voices telling us to go to Ellery, and then we get there, Uncover a rogue guild, uncover some secret plot, and then watch the whole place burn to the ground. We're not going to find out why the voices were in our head telling us to go there. Is there any way we can? Uh, you. you can go back. I'm not going back. Cause I was going to say, I, you can head back in. I'm not going to get branded because they know we left. No, I'm not going back to that place. That well, I was literally walking the back out. I never said I was going to get branded or anything. But I was, I was just wondering, like, is there any way we can figure that out in the storyline, or is that just like, like an ongoing thing? Who knows what the uh, what the future brings? Okay. <laughs> this is bandits. It is then. It's cool. <laughs> I'm All right. Tell, I'm going to tell the damned um, inquisitors that uh, I knew someone that was conspiring with the guards behind their backs who runs a rogue guild <laughs> uh, but I forgot that's okay I think we started enough of a war I just yeah. I, I, I saw her 150 gold oh shit and she's probably gonna get out of there in one piece I'm guessing since she's as powerful as she is if she survives mate you're dead if you go back <laughs> you might be able to she, talk your way out of it. come searching for me if I don't go back. You can always mail it back to her. Jabba, I was yeah. just on my way to pay you. All Everybody gets mail. boarded sometimes. Alright, so. Uh, how many of you have rations and food? I'll do. All of us. Perfect. How many of you have tents? I got a tent. I'll be up Dan and Lee I do not have a tent, but I am a kobold. I don't have a tent, but I've got a third roll and a blanket. I'm Lee Gon's big right. spoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't think that's right. <laughs> Hold. Give me just a moment. I assume we're leaving a sentry out at night. Well, we're going to be talking about that here in just a moment. Are we sleeping? 
Well, a lot of things are going to be happening here soon. Okay. Uh. God is plotting. What? No, I'm just getting things ready. Mm -hmm. I want to roll a perception check to see what you're getting ready. <laughs> what? No, you can't see it, you're just walking down the road. But we're specifically expecting to get ambushed, so. Right, right. And you know when, about a day out. That's fine. In fact, since we know roughly where they are, can we um, scout the area? Yeah, once we get to that point, it's just I have to. We got to get there first. Okay. Doing GM things. Yeah, we'll probably run into a, a troll on a bridge. Or... <laughs> there are no trolls on the on bridges. There's no bridges around. <laughs> Bridge made out of trolls. Pack of troll wolves. I got a feeling it's getting the fighting map ready. A tribe of goblins. Inquisition. Troll. I mean, honestly, with our luck, we're probably going to trip over like an anthill and just die. Okay, so. Oh, before we leave anywhere, can I heal myself? Uh, how? Do I have some kind of medicine in my inventory? You do not. I can heal everything. You can get, I was going to say, you can get yeah. somebody in your party to try to heal you. Uh, or to heal Phileas, you with spell. Uh, any chance we can uh, heal my uh, stab wound? Yeah. Uh, you can. Yeah, that'll do one HP. What? Um, if you want to heal more, you have to do actual heal spells. All right. Where's the heal spell? Uh, it's called cure. It's on your action. And spell. it should be. If you got, you do you not have spells on your list. I got you got an action. You do not. Okay, um, let me put some on there for you. Just give me the goods. No, less restoration is a level two spell. And you need to keep track of your spells. When you use one, you gotta check off, um, the thing. Let's see here, cleric. Sorry, what do we have to check off when we use it? Oh, your spells. You have a certain amount of spells per day. Oh, okay, so. Oh, like it's, it's a... There you go. Is this all my spells? Yeah, those are your level 1 spells. I gave you Bless, Cure Wounds, Healing Word, and Shield of Faith. Hmm. And what else do I have? Like, like level 2 and 3? Level 2, restor Lesser Restoration, and... Uh... Come on, give me the goodies, man. Probably prayer of healing. Okay. And then your level zero spells will go with guidance, light, mending, and sacred fire. That is not good. And level three? You don't have any of those yet. That's good. So I'll cast your wounds. Oh, yep, you got it. Cure wounds. You drag the. Uh... <coughs> there you go. Sorry about that. And you are now healed, Lee Gun. And then. Oh, thank you. Up at the top, you see where there's like those little bubbles that say first, and then you have four bubbles there? Oh, uh, yeah. You want to check that off. Like that. Yep. Okay. For Lee Gun, he has cast. Three ones and one two today. Yep, that's right. You got it. Cool. Okay. So, how are you doing nightly watches? One person up at night, or two up at for take shifts. Yeah, take shifts. Anybody right. have like a? I've got an hourglass. 
so two hourglasses a minute is the next person shift. Okay. All right, that works. So you'll be doing your standard four shift um, night, which is not a work. Does anybody want a game of dragon chess while uh, before bed? <laughs> Yeah. I'm just going to pass right out. I don't think Ope has slept since uh, going to jail the first time. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Thalias will take the first shift because he wants to go to bed and not be woken up. Lays will play a game, but only for gold. <laughs> Five gold? All right, we'll start with that. Mm. All right, roll me intelligence at... Was or uh, dragon's chest is based on intelligence. <laughs> that was almost a fucking one. Yeah, I thought it was for a second. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, he, Legon will barely beat you. Thank you for the five gold. Do I need to add that myself? Yeah. Uh, he it? says again, Legon. Double or nothing. How come I'm down to 26 gold coins? Uh, I didn't add back the 30 for the okay. uh, so brothel. Okay, it's 56, so plus 5 is 60, uh, 61, yeah. Right. Okay. Again? One more time. Legan will win again. Alright. You win tonight. Tomorrow we'll play a different game. Cool. Ah, I'm going to turn in for tonight. All Ready right. for my shift. One of you, whichever of you you would like, please roll me a percentile. 20 sided die? Nope. It is going to be, you go to the, tw the uh, yeah, there you go. Blaze rolled first, then we'll be taking his roll. Oh, come on. How did you do that yes. in case I ever get asked to do that? I click on the 10 sided die and hit percentage. Fear my dice. Ah, uh, okay. So you are camping near the road? Sure. Cool. Not that near. <laughs> Off the How road, near? Can't be immediately seen. My dad yeah. is Bear in mind, like, we're acutely aware that there's bandits around robbing people since we're here yes, to fucking course. get them, so. Fanatic Templars behind us, bandits in front of us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to find something a little bit sheltered, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe but, something with a nice little creek, you know. Wash yourselves up in the morning. Yeah, just uh, something, nice, need, something uh, nice. Uh, a perception check between us to see if we, have, we can find somewhere a bit secluded or something. But we think yeah, it's safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Who's mm. <laughs> got the highest perception? I've got plus two perception. <laughs> we all roll. <laughs> we tell okay. you. Yeah. You'll be able to find yourself a nice, quiet area where there's grasslands, nothing crazy going on. And what did Blaze see? Nothing. It's a nice, calm area when you are making camp. Well, no, not. Any shelter at all? Or just nope, open? Nope, just open grass. Bear with me for just a moment while I prepare things here in the background. Just a moment, if you Open wouldn't grass, mind. No trees, no forest, no cover. Oh yeah, there's some trees and some forest. You got like a little, uh, like a, a like a little hill with a creek below it. Paint us a word picture. I'm gonna give you a one better. I'm gonna give you a picture. All right. Let's see here. 
How's that for you? Look at that. Lovely. We should put our tent on that little spit of land. We what's liking the, this? Uh, we like this spot? What's the weather going to be like? I will there? tell you in just a moment. Weather. Generator. Andy. It is currently raining. Uh, to be more exact, it is a high of 47 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees centigrade. 37 degrees Fahrenheit is the low, 2 degrees centigrade, obviously. Um, there is a light wind, 2 miles per hour, or 3 kph for you folks. Uh, and it is raining at enough that you have a minus 4 on your perceptions. Just what you'd expect, but north of the desert. <laughs> You're far enough north that it's grasslands. Well, I'm gonna hang my little hammock inside the tent up at the top, and uh, here are your character icons. Uh, you may right. choose, place them where you would like as you make your camp. For instance, Bef uh, before we make camp, up. can I uh, suggest that little nook where the uh, higher ground meets with the coast? Yeah. At least then we've got some uh, shelter there on oh, yeah, one side, good place. and there's only one place where people can come at us. Admittedly, there's nowhere we can escape other than the. Uh, <laughs> by the river or up the bank, but how do I zoom out on this map? Well, we could get, like, it doesn't go. Can't zoom out much more. Quite a nice camp in this little uh, alcove. Quick question: How many tents have we got, and how many do they fit? We've got two two-man tents. Mm-hmm. So one of us is not in a tent. Okay. And one of us is on watch. Perfect way to stay up. Not in a tent. And whoever's in the same tent as me has a bigger tent because I've just put a little tiny hammock up at the top. So you get all the room. Blaze Where are you going, Blaze? The, the first watch, but he's going he's gonna to do it from uh, that tree. So he's got some camouflage. All right. So he's, he can see the camp from there. Because that's low ground right beneath him. <laughs> yes. Apparently, I'm sharing my tent with Romian. <laughs> I came. <in. laughs> so Blaze is going to be uh, up the tree. He's going to be all right. right. Yeah, we're, we're topping you like the big down. spin I am. It also gives him some shelter from the rain as well. Yes. Uh, you're taking first watch. Who's taking first watch? Blaze. Wonderful. Okay. I tell this is incredibly hard to wake up. So you know. Say he's incredibly hard to wake up. <laughs> yeah. you can he take needs last a watch. lot, a lot of beauty sleep. It's Wonderful. okay. Oak's got knives. He can prod him away. Yeah, if I have to. All right, Blaze. If you wouldn't mind giving me a perception check, my dear friend. All right, the first watch will go without incident. Who is on second watch? Let me in. All right, where are you going to be stationed as you take your watch? I'm going to be stationed up here. Okay. Well, I can view everything from a distance. Yes. Uh, please give me a perception check, good sir. Okay. You won't see that. He doesn't see uh, that? He did see that. If you need a, an aesthetic, I will provide you with one. Yes. All right. This is what you will see moving through the tree lines. Oh. Holy moly. Um... She love. Ramian will. Why is that not come uh, up on my screen? Or is that in Discord? It's in Discord. Okay. <clears throat> Ramian will uh, shout uh. very loudly that uh, 
there is something in the trees that looks like a spider. All right, everybody may make me a perception check to see if they hear him. And it wakes them, rouses them from their slumber. Blaze, you are awake still because you had just laid down when he noticed it. That's a good thing because I wouldn't know where it's going to go. Ope? I closed my window one sec. Didn't want the spiders getting in? Yeah, I didn't want the spiders getting in. Uh, Perception, you say? Yes, please. Where is that on here? Da -da 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 -da. That's per that's percentile perception is what we need. Uh, Remy, you're now looking that direction now, right? You're actively watching the spider. Yes. Here's my perception. All right. Oh, oh shitty. Heavy sleeper. Heavy sleeper. Okay. Philios is dead asleep. Hope oh, you're gonna be like, uh, no, five more minutes. Lee, you sit okay. right the fuck up. Mm -hmm. You're awake, but you don't want to be awake. That's what I'm saying. So, party. Uh, you are alerted that there is indeed something coming towards the group. You don't know what, because he is like 20 feet up and away from you all. Uh, you may choose. You may choose to act. Oh God, we're going to die. Uh, <laughs> I like to. Use, I like to use an insight check to see how strong this thing is. Yeah. Yeah, you have no idea. That'd be knowledge nature. Oh. Who has knowledge nature in our group? Anybody? I don't know, but I'm throwing myself into stealth right off the bat. Are you even awake? Yeah. My guy tosses and turns in his bed and then just scratches his nose and just turns over. Is it <laughs> Is it dark at the moment? It's night time, right? It is. It's dark. Have they noticed us? You have no idea. You don't even know they're there. Oh, so... Can I use light to try and reveal what's there? They... You don't know where they are, because he just said there's something in the trees. Right, so we need to wake everybody up, so Ope's going to run around poking people and getting them out of bed. Okay, I've rolled initiative for everybody. So if Elios is still asleep, Ope is waking people up. Remy, what are you doing? I'm starting to head towards the um, the party to assist, because I, um, you know, I just want to regroup, basically. Ten-foot decline that you're going to have to hop down or something like that, so that's fine. Right. Okay, you can move yourself as you wish. Oh, you can extend this old fantasy ground window, can't you? Make it bigger. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so that'll be... Uh, you'll move 30 feet to get there, and then hop down. Give me an athletics to see if you land gracefully. Right. Actually, you're fine. It's not far enough for it to matter. Go ahead. You're good. Alright, you're down there with the party. Uh... Bit... Blit... Blit... You can cast cantrips as much as you want, right? Correct. Smell like fire. Uh, actually, this one is watching right now. They saw Remy and move. How and come I didn't get a chance Trying to figure to? out what the hell he was. Blaze. How come I haven't had a chance to? Reaction? You rolled low on your initiative. You're last. So I think I need to get either some light or some fire here. We well, you can see them the now. They're big boys. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, what's the distance? What's that distance between us and and them? Roughly. Uh, with you right there, you are ten feet from it, and it's looking down at you with its big fucking spidery eyes. It doesn't look like they've initiated or decided that they're going to attack yet. They're just trying to figure out what Remian was moving okay. around. So, hey, Where's Athelios do... going? Get back here. <laughs> <laughs> they just abandoned his mates. Sleepwalking. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so what are you doing, boys? Um, can I burning hands? Yeah. Can I can I move as well as burning hands or not? You can. Um, I think <laughs> that uh, one of our allies might get hit there. It's a is it a cone? It is. Yeah. It is. Like that, I believe. A 20 foot cone or 15. What is it? Yeah, I like that. I'll tell you what, then, because there's only one in, in, in close range. Let's, let's just go with the fireball instead. Okay. So, yeah, I'll cast a fireball at the nearest one. All right, roll it up. So you click the magnifying glass and drop the attack on it, and then if it hits, you drop the damage on it. Oops, click twice now. All right, which one are you trying to hit? One, three, one, two, or three? The top one. That's one. All right, the firebolt will fly past it, going wide and off into the night before it sparkles it out of existence. The spider, realizing that you, you know, just shot fire at it, is going to let loose a high-pitched shrieking noise and start clamoring its front um, mandibles together. Legion, your turn. Uh, how big are these uh, squares? Five feet apiece. Okay. That's a 10 foot spider. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> so, like one line to one line is 65, and one line to one line is the diagonal and the other, stuff like that. All right, so moving diagonally like this. Okay, so that's five. That's five. That's five. But if you move like this, that's 15. Okay, so can I move and then cast a spell? You can. Okay, so I'd like to So move. before we go further, to sum up D&D, you have a move action and a standard action. Um, your move action as a standard medium class creature means that you can move your movement speed, which is 30, I believe, um, and then still take an action. So you can move 20 feet and then stab something. You can move 30 feet, cast a spell. You can move 5 feet and, I don't know, lick somebody's nipple, whatever the case may be. Gotcha. So I could have moved further back then. That's a lesson learned, all right? Yep. Okay, so I... So uh, how far can I move, sorry? You can move 30 feet. 30 feet, so... So six squares. Uh, I'll, I'll put, put you in a square. We'll say you're right here, for the sake of that. So I could go there, for instance. Where? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That would be... Uh, that would be 20 feet. 20 feet of movement. Lovely. How can you tell how far you can move again? Like, I'm sorry if you already said that, but... It's based upon your race. Oh. Okay. Well, where would I see how far I could move it? I mean, is that... On my you can move 30. Shirt? Okay. Yeah, it says speed 30. Oh, okay. Warren, do you see how when I open this sacred flame spell, it's got a dice? An attack sword, a cast, and a damage. Which one of them do I click, and why are they all different? You throw the save on them first, and then if they fail to... Okay, so for your Sacred Flame, you throw the, the save dice on it, and then, then you roll the damage, and that'll be that'll be the, all you do. Uh, Tom, what are you doing? Uh... I'm going to use Create Bonfire. All right. I'm trying to work out whether I should try and block off the beach so they don't come at us, or just use one on one and try and burn it. Burn it. OK, I'm going to use uh, that on uh, the giant spider. So, Create I am going to drag it onto the map, yeah? Yes. 
Did that work? Or it, it did not. Uh, so you'll go to actions, create bonfire, you drop the save on them, and then you guys should roll their save. Why is it not doing anything? Are you too far away? No, when I do it, it does it. I don't even see a fire. No, it doesn't. It doesn't drop the fire on them. Oh, oh on sorry. The big oh, right, right. I see which one I have to drag onto it to save. All right, so it's successfully saved. Good thing or bad thing? That's a bad thing. Oh, okay. Uh, but even with the save, it does. Okay, it, you don't even have to roll it yet. Um, so you where where did you want to create the fire at? Uh, there on the cliff, so that. Okay. Forces it back, if anything. All right. So on its turn, it has to make that save. Okay. Um, Ethelios, oh. you may attempt to wake up. Nobody has woken. Wait. Opie did. Oak did. Yeah, I poked him. You got poked. Dang. Damn, his beauty is so Dang. So, I can cast one or two spells. One. Okay, I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on Lemia. Alright. Right. So, what you do is. You go to the magnifying glass, and then you drop that directly on him, and then check off a level 2 spell. Drop the effect off on him, or the magnifying glass. Right. The, the black things, yeah? Yep. Okay, I'll drop the I'll drop it on him. Does that work? I dropped it on him. Right. You want to drop, like, the little figure standing there. That's the effect. Oh, right. Okay, let me try to do that one. Yeah? Yep, there you go. Does that work? Right, cool. Yep. And then I'm just gonna stay where I am. Okay. And then click a first level spell, right? I'll uh, click. no, Shield of Faith is a second level spell. Is it? It's, it's in my first level spells here. Oh. oh, you're yep, you're right. Sorry. Yep, you check a first level spell. And oh. I slept, did my spells come back yet or not? Once you rest, you have to rest for eight hours, or you can take a short rest for four hours, but you've only been resting for about three. Oh. Yep. Your turn. All right. I I'm stealth, right? Mm. I should be. They don't seem to notice you. All right. Well, I rolled earlier when we first saw them. I didn't know if you knew that. I don't recall that, but oh. it's fine. Okay. Um, you're very hmm. small, and these creatures have they're animal, very large. insect intelligence, so they are not yeah. going to tactically attack you all. Yeah. I was 12 earlier, OP. 8 plus What's 4. That? I was just saying I saw your roll from earlier for stealth, 8 yeah. plus 4. So I am stealth. Um, I'm going to... What is it we got here? You want some battle music? Yeah. <laughs> Sure. I'd like to sneak attack. Do I need to move behind it or anything for a sneak attack, or do I need to nope, wait for as long as it doesn't see you? But if you're if you're attacking it from the front, that means you're hiding in plain sight, which could be detrimental to your attempt. Attack tactics gives me an advantage, though, if I'm five, within five feet of any of my. Uh... Yeah, but none of them are, or unless you're throwing something, then you're fine. That to be throw, right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw one of my lawn darts at it from here. Final fantasy battle. Okay. Go for it. I think you'd have a quest combat music. What do I, uh, how do I do that on here? Do I just roll? Uh, so you'll go to actions, and then you see where it says dart. We got actions. Where's actions? Hey, right, bye. Very last one. There we go. Um. So, so since none of them are threatening work. right now, your pack tactics doesn't work, but you can still do oh. the, uh, you can try sneak attack. I click on the dice, on the dart dice thing, I guess. Yeah, and then just drop it on whichever spider you want to attack. And it rolls it completely independent of me, 
so you'll know if you hit or miss without any kind of uh there you go you hit it cool Right, you'll be able to deal your damage and an additional D6, if I recall correctly. All right, so then I rolled six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right next to where the dart is, where the 1D4 plus two is, if you just drag and drop that on the spider, it'll automatically oh. apply the damage. And then you can roll your D6 manually, and I'll put that on. There we go. Uh, spider 1 is now wounded for 5 damage. That's it for my turn, or do I need to do more? Uh, roll your uh, sneak attack, your d6. <clears throat> oh, pull wrong. I did. You have to roll it into the uh, little window thing, so it records it. over here there you go that's a d8 Oop, you're right that's a d4 god damn it my clicking is wrong. yeah there we go oh, no. <laughs> you know what you know what i'm gonna give you the four damage you've been trying to get i'll give it to you fuck it just give me that four damage that it really wants to give me <laughs> yes Rimian, you are emboldened by a shield of your friend's faith what will you do I'm gonna approach that spider and I'm gonna hit it as hard as I fucking can. It is up on a cliff, mind you. Uh, except for this one. This one is kind of down where you all can get to it. I'm gonna hit that one then. I all right. I, I can. I'm gonna move my guy near him so I can. Hit. Do I need to be right? I need to be right next to him to hit him, right? Yeah, you need to be right up on him. So, like that. Have like a rush uh, or anything. Right, right here. Okay. Alright, and then uh, I I'm gonna use. How do I use my abilities? That's the real question. I wanna use uh, my uh, Action Surge and uh, Fighting Spirit ability. Okay, so Action Surge allows you to hit twice. So basically, you get your first swing and then your second swing. Fighting Spirit does what? Advantage on all my attacks throughout the rest of this turn. Okay. You can only trigger one of those because you only have one bonus action per round. So you have to choose one of the two to trigger. Um, I'll do uh, action search. Right. You may attack twice. That will hit. All right. You've dealt four damage to it. Do I gotta do the first one again, or can I just do the the uh, hit again? No, you have to roll the dam uh, to hit it again. All right, you will hit. Roll your damage. You will deal an additional four damage to it. So a total of eight damage will be dealt to the spider. And that will conclude your turn. Awesome. My turn. Uh, opening his turn, the fact that Tamias has created a bonfire underneath my creature means it will do a dexterity savings throw, which it will fail. Hey. It'll take 1d8 damage. It'll take maximum damage. It'll take 8 damage. Hey. Oh, oh shit, fire, bro. Um, it will skitter to the side and then move down the cliff here. And it will bite Blaze. <laughs> And it'll connect, piercing him with its mandibles and attempting to inject him with poison. Which he will successfully save against and take half damage from. Hey! This one will attempt to do the same thing to Remian, attempt to bite him. It will miss. This one will move to here and fire a stringy web-like substance at... Uh, Ope. <laughs> no! Ope, you are restrained with webs. I can't even, like, dodge it? You, it hit you. I was stealth. Yeah, but when you attack, you're unstealth. Oh, that's okay. Blaze, 
A spider is chewing upon you. What would you like to do about this? It might be nearly how... dead. <clears throat> yeah, can I can I perceive how injured it is? It is... Mm, it's not happy about what's been going on to it. Is it like lightly injured or wounded or severely Um. Do you see the little bubble down at the bottom of the right-hand corner of its uh, little icon? Yeah. Oh, it's orange. It darkens further towards red the more it's wounded. So it's not as wounded as you, but it's okay. definitely not as healthy as the other ones. I got you, man. Mind you, Do I'd like to interject. If you do not disengage and try to move away from it, it will gain an attack opportunity. Hang on, say that again. Uh, if you try to run, it, like try to move away from it's it. It's a free attack on me, right? It'll yeah, right. At which point that could instantly kill me. So, because presumably if it hits me again, I could still get take not just regular damage but poison damage again. Hey, whoa! Does uh, the spider awesome. Ramon have more HP? Because I hit it for the same amount to my hit that one, but it has. I still. hit mine. You as hit well. yours for eight. Uh. Oh, threw a dagger or a dart and it got burned. Oh, okay. So it's had like 12 to get to They half. also do have varying HP. Just like in real life, not everybody's the same kind of thickness. Yeah, These spiders are sure. varying thicknesses. But we're probably uh, talking fact, like this spider 20 right here is a bit more thick than the rest of them. Ah, oh, cool. So less than 20 HP on the other two. Okay, I think this is uh, time to bring out a big gun, Scorching Ray. Ooh! Get him! That's what we're talking about. So roll an attack roll for each ray, right? Correct. How many rays do I shoot? Uh, let me read your thing. Hold on. Scorching ray. You create three rays of fire and hurl them at a target within range. You can hurl them at one target or several. So, three. Blow it to pieces. But it says at higher level, below that there's a paragraph that says something at higher levels, um, mm -hmm. the third level or higher. Is that talking? You don't have any spell? third level spell slots yet. Talking about spell slots, right? Not character. Right. Okay. Um, I think the safest thing at the moment is just to blast this first one into smithereens. I so will say good. that attacking in melee range with a ranged attack grants you disadvantage because you're um, you're being hindered in your attempt to aim. Because right up on you. What kind of disadvantage would that be? You roll twice and drop the highest. Uh, if you could look down at the bottom left-hand corner, there's yeah. advantage ADV and DIS. You would click DIS and then roll. Yeah, disadvantage doesn't like it doesn't uh, mean uh, what well, doesn't do different okay. levels of disadvantage, right? It just means that you drop the highest no matter what. Right. Okay. Well, I've got three attacks anyway, and I think I need to kill this one that's in my face. So. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, roll her up. That'll fly wide and miss. Let me roll that again. That will hit, I think. Yes. Okay, so the second ray hits. Uh, roll two more times, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Do I need that, to click disadvantage on uh, that again? Uh, it's okay. We can just roll manually. It's fine. Uh, the two misses. So you hit one out of three rays. Okay, and then what do I do? You roll 2d6, uh, so under where it says attack, it'll, it'll say, say damage. damage. If, if you, you click, click that and then drop, drop it on the spider, it'll roll it for you. Or you can just roll it normally. I can apply it. Either way is fine. There you go. All right, eight. There you go. Now it's heavily wounded. Okay. Legon, your turn. Okay. I'm going to move a teeny bit north just to get a better angle. And then I'm going to fire my gust of wind straight at that spider, trying to push it back into the fire and hopefully pushing the other spy the third spider away. Oh. All right. 
gust of wind, and fiend. Okay, in here. Uh -huh. Am I in range to do that, or do I need to move a bit closer? Yeah, you're good. Um, uh, let me read the spell again. A 60 foot long and 10 foot wide blast. So, are you aiming it like this? Yeah, let me move over a little bit just so that I've got a better angle. Like that. So right here. Actually, that's a clip. You can't get up there. Just aim a bit more north. Like that? Yeah. I'm trying to get rid of those two. That's going to hit Blaze as well. It wasn't on them before. It's a 10 foot um, area, so it'll be like that wide. Yeah, don't kill me. But he's he's not up the cliff there, up the cliff. Would it kill them? Right, he'd just get pushed into the cliff. Would that do damage to him? Uh, Not technically. Could It, it could knock him prone, or it could knock him into the spider if, it, if the spider saves and he doesn't. Because if the spider attacks him, he's going to get killed anyway. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Uh, any way you look for it, Blaze is in a bad spot right now. Uh, I'm sorry, mate. This is being good. I'm going to go ahead with the uh, gust of wind. <laughs> All right. This is to right, save you, bro. <laughs> That's what the spider saying. saves. Oh, fuck off. Blaze <laughs> fails. The, the second, second spider fails. So, 15 feet. Hmm. It'll be pu actually, it'll probably be more like right here. Blaze, you're going to be pushed to here. I don't know if that provokes an attack of opportunity or not. Because he moved away from it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if it does. Dealing with the force blast itself, though, so would it have an opportunity to attack or not? Cause... Yeah, it's too busy mm -hmm. saving against... The spider saved. I'm going to roll... A... I'm going to check real quick. Hold on. Surely the spider will be like shoving oh, its claws here. into the thing to stop to. Uh... Yeah, but that doesn't stop it from biting him though. Movement five. Eight. Involuntary movement attack of opportunities. I think it is. You know, I think he's gonna bite it. No. So involuntary movement Ooh. is only. Um, so, okay, so Blaze is no longer, he's not, not defending himself. He's just getting moved. Attack of opportunity is when you move away and you're no longer attempting to defend yourself by the creature. So he would not get hit. At least that's what it looks like. I'll have to revisit that later. I haven't actually ran into that one yet in 5e in a, a while. Ethelios. Uh, I can turn. move 30 feet, right? Mm-hmm. Hail so May. I'm gonna move here. Okay. And then I'm going to move to here. Okay. And then I'm gonna cast. Can I cast one spell or two? One. What? I, I mean, you can cast a level two spell, but you can only cast one spell per turn. Unless you're a sorcerer. Heal him. Hopefully, the spider's gonna come for me. And... I decide which heal to use. Wait, I could have casted more spells. Uh, yeah. meta magic. You got a twin spell. Oh right. Use uh, cure wounds. Okay. Not bad. So there you go, a blaze. You're healed for six. A reprieve. Ope. All right. I'm uh, restrained. Do I have to do something about that? Yes, I do. Yes. You have to roll strength to try to break free of the webbing. <sighs> you what? fail to do so, friend. Your dice. Like spider will hit me instead of blaze, right? Uh, yeah, or it'll go for their strained little ope that's right there. Yeah. Not the one who set it on fire and then tried to blow it back into the fire. It doesn't have that kind of cognizant ability. Okay. Hell, you're buff as hell, mate. You got like 100 HP and. That's why I moved there. Mega armor. Block you. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, Stanley. Right. Remian. Alright, so I was. I don't know. I don't get this. Because I'm, I'm reading 
how I can synergize Fighting Spirit and Action Surge, but that doesn't make sense to me when he's saying I can only use one thing per turn. I don't, I don't understand. There's a bonus action. What's Action Surge? Hold on, let me read Action Surge. Uh, uh, I was... On top of and a uh, pause. I was reading something where they said they synergize real good together, Fighting Spirit and Action Surge, because it'll get my advantage on the Action Surge or something like that. Okay, Action Surge does not cost your bonus action. It lets okay. you just, it's just a free action. Okay, I read it incorrectly. So you can uh, add the two together uh, yeah. next time you want to use Action Surge. Okay. All right, that's what I was thinking. Um, but you already hit both hits on your action search, so you didn't really lose anything. That's good. Okay. Um, well, I'll just... I, I'm going to use one of my fighting... I'm going to go up here next to... Uh, All right, that'll provoke an attack of opportunity from the spider. You should be good. It'll hit you in the back as you're moving away. Uh, and it's gonna try to poison you. Which spider's doing this to me? This one right here. He's 20 feet away from me. Yeah, as yeah. you're moving away, he bites you. Uh, Disengage gives him a chance to attack you. All right, uh, you can go uh, ahead and take your action. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use my um, fighting spirit on this spider. Okay. Um, and so I'll get advantage. All right. All right. <clears throat> um. Let me, let me, uh, how, how do I do advantage again? I'm sorry. Uh, down at the bottom, it says ADV. You click on that. And on my actions tab, it says that? Uh, no, down at the bottom, uh, left of your screen. Okay, ADV. Near where your dice are. Mm -hmm. All right, and I click on my, um, hit, see if I hit them first, right? All Correct. Right. Right. That will miss. No. <laughs> All right, my turn. Oh, shit. This spider is going to. Yeah, <sighs> I'm not sure what he's going to do. Hold on a second. I have to think about what he would do. I mean, he's fucking right here already, and Remian just swung out. He's going to try to bite Remian. He'll miss. Here, okay. This is great. This spider is gonna move up to here. God. And bite Blaze. And miss. Oh, thank God. Nice. This spider will move. Oh, also, this fire is gone. It would have been blown out by the gust. Yeah. Uh. Can he move close right. enough to get to us? Or is he a third? Yeah, he'll just walk right over here. That's fine. Okay. And bite. He'll bite. Oh, fuck it, he'll bite Blaze. And he will try to poison him because he has not done that yet. <clears throat> he will save. Blaze will topple. Uh, Blaze, you succeed on not dying. That's good. Legon, your turn. One of your party members has fallen. Not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. <laughs> True. Yeah, charm a, a spider right on our side. Uh, I, haven't yeah. got any, I haven't got any level one or two spells left. Oh, no. Oh, we didn't no, sleep for rest, did we? You rested. He didn't sleep long enough. He didn't sleep long enough. We only got oh. three hours of sleep. A dirty trick. Uh, Very dirty. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, Mind Slipper on, the, on Giant Spider 1. All right. So, so I need to do the save or the damage. Uh, save first and then damage if he fails. I hope you agree for a dart on Spider Two. So what? I need to drop it on him, don't I? Yep, on him. Are you good for a dart on Spider 2? If I can get out of these webs, yeah. Okay, so he failed, so now I dropped the damage on him, yeah? Correct. Oh, 
Ooh. So close. <laughs> All right. Uh, would you like to take a move action, or are you done? Uh, I'm done. All right. Philios. Uh, <clears throat> I played Pathfinder, well, Starfinder, with a few boys back in the day about a year or two ago. And we had to take our moves before we did our actions. Is that not something we have to do here? Nope, you can act, then you can move, act, move, you can act, then move, and you know, it's whatever you want to do. Just as long as it's 30 feet and the right amount of actions. Yep. Can we do a melee attack and cast a spell in one round? Uh, no. So it's well, it's not at this level, you can't. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna slap this spider upside its head. Yeah, kill that, right. knock that one out. <laughs> so, I just. Roll the weapon dice, right? Correct. Right next to me. Take that. You will swing and miss. Oh, no. Is that my go gun? That's it. Okay, well. In that Unless you'd like to move. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move maybe a little bit further down, like here, kind of thing. That will invoke an attack of opportunity. I know, but I've got loads of health and I need to make some All right. to run. Alright, he'll, he'll bite, bite you. Okay. Uh, that... He will try to inject you with poison as well. Does that not apply to us when they move close to us, though, too? Because that, yeah. one, that, one, that one, Spider 3 moved close to me and I never got an attack of opportunity. It's only if he moves away from you. Oh, okay. All right, so you lose your concentration, um, and Shield of Faith will flicker out of existence on you, Remy, and you feel less protected now. Why? Because you took off. damage. Oh yeah. No, he lo he had to concentrate on keeping it active while fighting, and it, he, the Stop. spider poisoning him broke it. Okay. Oh, uh, the spiders yeah. don't seem very concerned about your tiny little scrawny ass. I still need to get out of this uh, web, or. Yeah. Has it like, Unless you want to just. Yeah, you got to get out of the web still. How many rounds does that last? For God's sake! <laughs> it's web. It lasts as long as it's there. It lasts until she gets out of it, which sucks oh, okay. <laughs> she keeps rolling low. Uh, that'll not be sufficient. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if there's any other way to get out of restrain. Restrain. Five. I mean, like a dexterity or something? Uh, let's see. Restrained. The creature must. No, you're incapacitated. You can't move or speak. And can only speak um, falteringly. You automatically <laughs> fail dexterity saving throws and strength saving throws. Attack against you have advantage. I'm sorry, that was uh, I was reading the, the wrong thing. That's done. Uh, your speed is zero. You can't benefit from any bonus attack or actions. You have a disadvantage on saving throws. Yeah, you have to strength check it out. Need to get this oh my god, what do I need what do I need in order to what how do I have to roll this? DC thirteen. No, I mean I I rolled my strength, but like, Yeah, you gotta You gotta get gotta, thirteen strength, yeah. yeah. Uh, Rimian. Alright. It's um, looking mildly bleak for your team at the moment. Yeah. Kill something, please. I'm going please. to uh attack Spider One, I guess. Alright, let's see it. No, that's good. We're good. You will swing, and you will miss. <sighs> Spider one will press the attack on Rimian, and he will connect. And he will attempt to poison the man. Rimian will succeed against the poison, but still take the damage. Spider 2 will attack. Actually, yeah, Spider 2 will. He's not going to try to. No greed. No greed. Constitution. Oh. Athelios, you are feeling very, very hurt. Uh, and as the poison takes hold, you'll feel your muscles tighten as paralysis sets in. 
Uh, this spider will take his time to... Actually, no, there's still a combatant on his feet right in front of him. He's going to have to try to attack him. So we've got one Boys, down. you're still on the ground. You successfully don't die. Legon, your party's in shambles. Uh... <laughs> Kill that fucking twat that's still alive, man. You got any bombs? You got any med? Well, I haven't got anything to. Blaze is unconscious. Can you heal him? Uh, I don't or... know. I feel like I was misled with this thing I read about not rolling strength. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution has done nothing for me. Well, he's still alive, right? I'm sorry, yeah. you're not paralyzed. Uh, you're not paralyzed, um, Athelios. I read that incorrectly. It's only if you go unconscious, like Blaze is. He's he Blaze is paralyzed. What is? Hey, uh, well, what does 16 Constitution have anything to do with me? Is that what gave me my good hit points or what? Like, does that help Correct. me at all in this game? Yeah, it gave you good, a yeah. decent. Okay, hit all right, all right. At least that's. Case then. It's like you'd literally probably be dead right now if you had less of a constitution. Yeah. It's looking looking grim. No. Uh, I'm gonna use uh mind slipper on giant spider one again. Alright. So I have so six... close. There you I... go. Okay. Okay, and then the damager. Yep. yep. It will shriek and shrivel as it begins to die. Nice. Yay! Right. One down. Uh, Any actions further? I'm going to regret doing this. I'm going to... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run over to OP and try and free OP. Okay, well, you can move there to assist him next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't do anything right now with it. Uh, Athelios, your turn. Uh, about to cast Prayer of Healing. Alright. 2d8 dice, so that should heal two people, right? Uh, so Prayer of Healing, uh, up to six creatures of your choice that you can see within a range, within range of each other, get will be healed for 2d8 plus your caster level modifier. So, you can heal all your buddies for 2d8 hit points. <laughs> Yay! That's what we're talking about. Yeah, looks Definitely. around at the dire situation with disgust and brings out his <laughs> magical blue ball. <laughs> and heals for three. <laughs> I know. Well, at least that's something. Man, I thought that was going to be dope, but it's it was... <sighs> that's still good, though. Uh, Blaze, your eyes will flicker open and you'll realize you're unable to move your muscles as the poison from the spiders has set in deep. You'll be paralyzed for the next uh, six rounds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Do I get some health back? Yeah, you do. I healed you. Strength check, please. Oh I'm sorry, god. that only healed for six because uh, you're a caster level bonus. Yeah. Does she not get a bonus there? on the uh, strength now that there's someone next to her? No, you have to be actively helping her on your turn. So my heal healed everyone for six, right? Correct. Everybody, Everybody healed, healed for six. six. That's what I thought. Nice. All right, Remian. You can hear Oak squealing in frustration in the background. Um, oh, what can I do to help? There's nothing I can do to help him, huh? Uh, you could try to move and cut him free of the restraints, or you can continue fighting here. Uh, well, someone else has got that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna move. Uh, oh shit! If I move away, he'll be able to attack me. Um, I can't attack Spider Two from where I'm at, huh? Well, yeah. uh, you if, cannot. You, if you move to an adjacent bit around the spider, like you were sidestepping, would that still Like right there? No, I meant to say, like, let's say he moved to where I was, theoretically. Yeah, that's he'd be fine to away. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do then. And okay, I'm gonna so you're spider standing two. over, boys? Yeah, I'm going to attack Spider okay. 2 um, with uh, Fighting Spirit, so with uh, advantage. Advantage. Gotcha. Right. Uh, sp fighting Spirit will also gain you an additional five temporary hit points. Nice job, meat shield. Yeah, that that uh that lasts until they attack me, right? Correct. Alright. Um uh what the fuck? 
Okay, here we go. You will swing, and you will hit. Roll your damage. Uh, Spider 2, correct? Uh, yes. Alright, you will deal 6 damage to Spider 2. Nice. My turn. Uh, my spider is unconscious. This one will... Just got hit. Let's see if he's going to change targets. He is not. He's going to continue attacking Athelios. He will crit Athelios. No. no. That's not good. Athelios no. will go down. <laughs> what? Didn't he have like 30 HP? How much did he hit him hard? He hit him for 8. No, he hit him for 10. Oh. Athelios will crumple and... Uh, I'm gonna say he almost falls into the river, but doesn't. He's just kind of like laying there with his hand in the water. You're so yeah. merciful. Uh, this spider is going to attempt to bite Rimian and hit for two. And so that doesn't even shoot through my. Um... Temporary hit points. No, it doesn't. You you absorbed it. All right. Blaze, you are paralyzed. Uh, Legon. Uh, things aren't looking great. No. <sighs> Get Opie out of that, so we have someone else attacking. <laughs> Please God. Yeah. I'm... No way I can roll my way out of it. My strength is at thirteen. So. You reckon? You can roll with advantage when trying to free Ope now with your strength. If you roll above a 13, you're good. You got it. Yeah, I had advantage on that bitch. You better roll good. You can attack something. I don't know. I'll uh, try. I'm attacking. It's, oh uh... my god. Uh... Oh! <laughs> can, can Opie even roll that high? That's what... No, yeah. I, I strength, well, my strength is 13 plus 1. Yeah, you oh, you have to roll 13. Yeah. yeah, 13. That's it. Can't he just chop her out? If you take... He doesn't have anything to chop with. If he tries to roll her out, he can't attack too, right? Right, he'll t take his turn aiding. Okay, okay I don't know. Hey, she can roll herself out wait, of that. Wait, 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 wait. Tom has a knife in his fucking wizard kit. You said that ages ago. But if he, if I he think said... that was Blaze. Oh, shit. Let me have a look. Uh, what's my? Where's my kit? I have got a kit. Scholar's pack. Book of law, bottle of ink, ink pen, parchment, bag of sand, and a small knife. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Would you like to take your turn cutting oak free? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, you're I... being freed from the webs. So that means Ope gets Ray. to go now. Uh, that means on Ope's next turn, it can act. Gotta remember the small things, man. That was a yeah. good save, good save. I was gonna yeah. say something. Ooh, shit! Athelios, your grip on life falters. You slip closer to death. Oh, no. Mm, no. Ope. Oh, you failed your death saving throw. Well, alrighty then, let's see. Which is the lower health one? Spider 2? Mm hmm. Yeah, and Spider 2, man. How many, can you tell us how many hit points Spider 2 has? Like what we gotta no. run to it? Oh, okay. Need a nature person. So if I hit Spider 2 with whales from the grave, will it affect Spider, spider 3? What is it? it close with what? Whales, whales from the grave. W a i l s from the grave. The fuck is that? It's a um, special. Oh shit! I actually closed out of that big map. Oh, nice. Then how do I get that back up? Okay, there we go. My special move is supernova. Can I use that? No, you're you're dying. Um. I should have bought med kits, man. My heal would have come through nice there. That would have been tasty, man. Yeah, you can. Alright, so I'm going to hit two with whales from the grave. 
But you have to I'm land a that. successful sneak attack first. Okay, so I have to sneak attack and then that hits? Is that how that works? If like, you, how do I... Okay, so... So, first of all, you're not hidden right... You're stealth right now, so you'll need to use your cunning action to stealth. Which is your bonus. Bonus action, I believe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh... This is a free action, I believe. Uh, sneak it up. Yeah, it's a free action. So, now that you're stealth, roll me a stealth check, please. Fuck. That does not beat their passive perception. They <laughs> know you're there. I have to be stealth then to make this work. Yes. You have to be able to sneak attack. Now, the caveat, you can move here and get stealth attacks because Remian is threatening you. Let's do that then. Okay. So, if you land a stealth hit, or if you land an attack on it, you can then use your wills uh, from the grave to deal half your sneak attack um, dice to the second target. So, okay. basically, it would be 1d3. Okay, so what do I need to do? Or am I done? Roll to attack. Turn? No, roll to attack the giant spider. You gotta, you gotta hit it first. Oh, shit. And you actually get two attacks. Only one of them can be a sneak attack. If, I'm assuming you're stabbing with both hand, both your daggers. Yeah, yeah. How do I roll both daggers and then I also have to do the? I'm confused. I'll I'll show you. Hold on. Uh 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 uh. uh. Okay, so roll your. Okay, so. Uh, in your weapons, you see where it says dagger. You would roll your attack first, and then switch to your offhand, and then roll your dagger again. And then that's your your two attacks. Oh, okay. So go ahead and you can do that. Well, like you want to do the uh, the attack for like the twenty sided first. So you're rolling damage. You want to go one over to the left. Where the plus four is. Okay, so you'll miss with the first attack, and then roll again. And you'll crit with the second one. Ooh. Nice. So now and you I roll hold down damage. shift. Yeah, hold down shift and roll damage. And you will deal nine damage to the spider. Now roll your d6 for a sneak attack. Uh, the square one. And now roll the d6 again for your bonus damage. So that'll be half of three. Is, uh, we'll round it up to two. So there you go. There's your damage. Okay. You did nine, she killed it, ten, right? eleven, twelve. You did twelve damage total. Cool. All right, so Remy, made, your turn. So wait, that makes number two dead and number three seriously wounded, or both wounded? One is wounded and one is... They're both wounded. Two is pretty up. fucked up. She hit number uh, two, though, right, for nine? Okay. Yes. Number two All was right. hit for nine. Back in number two. I'm then. sorry. Number three was hit for nine. Oh. Well. Number two was hit for two. All right. Well, I'm attacking number two. And I'm going to do... I don't know if I should use my action again. I'm a fighting spirit. I used to use whatever you've got at this point. Yeah. Um, I'll use... Uh, my spirit for advantage. Uh, You'll gain uh, five temporary hit points. That'll hit. Right. And then, uh... all right, it's heavily wounded. Oh, I almost got it dead. So I just blowing that thing. All right, Spider 2 is going to... He's going to attack. He's not... No... He ain't no bitch. He ain't scared. Oof! He'll hit. He'll... You'll partially absorb it. He'll try to poison you. And you'll successfully save. Spider 3 is going to continue attacking Remian as well. He'll hit. For one, and also try to poison you. 
you will save. Yes, thank God. All right, Blaze. Uh, yeah. You are still paralyzed, friend. That whole constitution is just so <laughs> Right, right. That what's saving me from the poison is the high constitution. Yep. Your constitution saving your ass right now. Uh, you are poisoned, or you are still paralyzed for four more rounds. <clears throat> Lee gone. Okay. Um... You gotta fuck up one of these spider. At least get spider two out of there. Do I try and go for a kill on spider two, or do I do the bonfire and try and get spider three to retreat? Um. I don't know. Kill spider free with a bonfire. And then there's a fire okay. right. If I do it like right at the back of uh, spider two, then there's a bonfire right next to spider free. Both his mates are dead. He might be more likely to run away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever you We think. need to finish spider two, I think. Yeah. Spider two doesn't die this turn, he's gonna fuck somebody up again. <laughs> you. One attack's better than two. All right, so he'll save again. Oh, are you are you doing bonfire? Yeah. All right, where are you placing it? It'll be on their turn that he has to save. Yeah, uh, I don't know why. Uh, I'm placing it on. Do I just move the damage onto him then, or what? Uh, not yet. On his turn, you can. You want it like right here or Left here? One. Left one. So it's. Can you put it on on both of them? No, you can't actually. Right here. So... No, down one. There? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Alright. Trying to intimidate the other oh! spell. Athelios dies. No! What? He's unconscious. He's not dead. Oh well. Or is he dead yeah. dead? He's dead dead. Look in chat. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, critical failure. Damn. <laughs> no. Oh. Your turn. No. You'll hear Athelios rattle his last breath. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna finish off Spider 2 with just some regular stabbing. Alright. Uh, Spider 2? Uh, he will shriek. Wait, you can't even hit Spider 2 from where you are. Well, Spider 2 is the one right in front of me. Or is that 3? Spider 3. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 3 then. Spider 3, yeah. Because we already put the bonfire on Spider 2. Deal that damage there. Use this. Alright, my bad. You're good, you're good. Remian. Both of the spiders look heavily wounded. Um, I'm gonna attack, uh... Spider 3, because Spider 2's already got a bonfire on. And, uh, hold up. No! You will miss. <clears throat> well, wait. How come, yes. How come my guy has the highest constitution and the best armor I could afford, and he just went down like a sack of shit? <laughs> <laughs> the way the dice roll, man. It's just the dice thing, yeah, okay. It's right. just the dice, man. Dang it. Okay. Uh, Spider 2 will roll his dex. <laughs> he <went> down like a... <laughs> uh, I do be that way sometimes, though. Alright. Uh, create bonfire. I need... He'll roll his dexterity. He'll... Auto fail. Wait, why is he auto failing? Oh, because he thinks he's unconscious. He's not unconscious. He'll save. But he'll take half damage. Which should be enough. Oh. Old boy has one HP, by the way. <laughs> uh, he is going to try to bite Remy in his last desperate attack and attempt to kill one of you fucks. He will. Well, let's see if I can poison you. Man, fuck you. Whatever. The spider will also bite Remian. You'll hit. 
Remy and will collapse. Ugh. But he's still safe against the poison. Motherfucker. What about the fire, though? Is the fire affecting that one yet? Yeah, it already hit him. He has one HP. Oh, man. Damn. Lee gone. Your party. Well, I mean, Ope can probably clean this fight up by himself at this point. But... I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Is there anything I, I mean, can do to uh, bring anyone back? Uh, I, I don't think so. But you can, you know, what? it's up to you what you decide to do here. Am I dead? Blaze. Blaze. I yeah, you are dead, dead. Dead, dead, yeah. Can, can he take items off another character, right? He can. I've got healing kits in my pack. Blaze, you've been awake for all this. You've been watching your friends die and not being able to move. I'm not saying I'm using them, I'm saying someone could use them. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, from your perspective, you just watch these big spiders chewing on your buddies. And now Remy is laying on you. Uh... That's the most horrifying part. I guess I'll <laughs> use uh, Mind Sliver on Giant Spider 3. Alright. So I'll drop the uh, save onto you. Yep. <clears throat> so just... To get it right in my head, I, I got critical, I then got poisoned, and then failed all three of my death saves. Uh, let's see. What what could I have done? Okay, so another thing as well. What could I have done to brought him back? If, if I would have bought a health kit on me, could I brought him, give him like a health point back? If I would have bought health no. kits in the beginning. No. Yeah, you did fail all three of your death saves. Like, what's the just option the for man. the group at that point yeah. when he's, like, down like that if we don't have heal spells? Healing potions, wands, or stabs. Oh, when we can buy healing potions at the beginning? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't even know that. Uh, Legon, roll your damage. It'll be half. Let's see, did save against it. Although he is right on the cusp. That'll be enough. He'll go down. Athelios is not doing anything. Uh, Ope. Hitting Spider 2. Spider 2 is. You gonna stand on top of the pile of your buddies? Yeah, I'm gonna stand on top of the pile of everybody. I'm gonna give her a boost with my, with my bicep. My dead bicep. <laughs> that will miss. No. A bit. Remian will fucking fail his death save. He's not oh dying dead God, yet, but he's died. dying. This spider's not doing anything. This spider on his turn will have to make a dex. He has one HP. He's dead. It's over. He's dead. All right. The fight is over. You have taken the field. Victory, though perific as it is, is yours. Oh my so, God. What happens now? Boys, that I'm you are un. Paralyzed now. None of them have health potions, so how am I? Am I just dead? No. If they can, you know, it depends. You can stabilize yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. I've got I some saving wax for the wounds. Stop them from bleeding. I just have to not right. my death saves. Is that what you're saying? And I'll stabilize right. myself. Yeah. Can I so you all can get on him to like insta win that or? Athelios does have a healing kit on him, yes. All right, so uh, do we need to take like rolling and stuff in order to get the healing? It'll be a medicine. Don't roll low. That's uh, all. Oh, I, uh, I did. He, yeah. They're taking your stuff from you, like your healing. Yeah, they're kit. taking your court. And moments after your body's still warm, and they're already stealing your shit. <laughs> all right, has the highest health, wisdom. Man. Whoever has the highest wisdom. I've you, got you plus two on the medicine check. Is the cleric had the wisdom? I had pretty high wisdom. I was 14, so. Shall I roll? Yeah. Go for, Go for it. it. Alright, you Phew. will stabilize him. Oh. Uh, Rimian, consciousness will once more greet you with pain. Your whole body hurts. Everything hurts. Life sucks. Ooh. Well, I, I think, think we start rest today. <laughs> I think find we find another cleric. 
Yeah. Are we going to bury him or are we just going to put him in the river or what? Oh, oh my god! Bury him, man! Come on! <laughs> are we going to push him in the river? Jesus! What? Like Aragorn, you know? Like it's turning to me. Aragorn, the, not like Aragorn. Aragorn doesn't die. Like, uh, Boromir. Boromir. Boromir, yeah. Are we going to build a little, a little funeral boat and send him on his way? I can light it on fire. Well, first make sure to take all of his items. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> At least the good ones. <laughs> he would want right. us to. He would want us to use them and his gold to um, help us out. You know, or his companions. Uh, here are his. He wanted to be buried with his gold. Took your hundred gold you got from healing that guy. Come on, man. Actually, the traveler's <laughs> outfit. Dead men don't get to decide. Alright, I'm adding his gold to my uh, pile. That's what it would yeah, be. Add yeah. Add his add, items. Yeah, add your items to whoever has the most weight they can carry, add your items to his pile. Well, we've still got the mule who's carrying my shit, so. Yeah. Or, or like, you know, whatever is important, like the med kits and stuff. I feel like we've not really discussed the mule very often. Look, it's open, he's hammered. You took his soap and his hammer? He's in his hammer. Gee! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm totally taking the clothes. Okay. Taking the healer's kit. They are pilfering this man! We just need it! What's he gonna do with it? It's like, yeah, it's like you look at him like. like my inventory, mate. He's no longer of this world, so uh, he's not gonna need him. We need one us to probably have him. Yeah, I guess. He oh, has he 10 left. days worth of rations. I believe two of my buddies are robbing me. How do you add them to your inventory? Just drag and drop it right onto your inventory. Uh, you can't take anything that's already been taken, however. I've taken the gold, just so you know. Alright. Hope he's not mad. Uh... Uh, I don't know, man. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be pretty upset. <laughs> the most HP in our party, dude. He got, uh, got real unlucky. <sighs> I crit him twice. That's rough. So, how do we go about replacing Phil? Uh, Phil roll up a new character and we'll put him in somehow. Yeah, he just meets us on the road or something, you know. He just fixes yeah. it into the story. Uh, so, the rest of the stuff that's on him, what are y'all doing with it? What's left? Wait, not what not. Bedroll, blanket, boots, bucket, clothes, common, mace, priest's pack, 10 days rations, scale mail, ration. soap, and a tent. Oh, Ooh, scale mail. You're taking the, the rations? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, everything's useful on the road, man. And Phil, he's going to get all new ones when he makes another character, so don't want to waste those. Alright, Oak, you have 10 days of rations now. Actually, be 9. You already ate one. Uh, now, bedroll, bucket, blanket, uh, boots. Fancy boots, mind you. Common clothes. Oh, yeah. Fancy boots. You took his boots? I took his boots. guy naked. Better fucking bury him. Oh, yeah, oh, we are, man. Alright, you got his fancy again. boots. I took his tent because I haven't got one of them. <laughs> Alright. He had a he tent? Took his tent? I thought it was Opie and, uh, and, uh. Just remember, I'm rolling. They got the head tents. I don't have a tent. Sorry, I'm going to remember uh, this, but I decide to heal or not. <laughs> See, uh, remember that I never stole anything off of your nasty either. door. Neither. Dead guys. What about the scale anything. mail? Who's, who's taking that? I feel um, like a robe on me, so now. Let's leave a scale mail and stuff on him. We just wanted the rations and the med kits and stuff. Uh, we can stuff that'll help it. the party. Take it, take it, Remy, and we can sell it. I don't feel like doing that. But not robbing a man of the clothes he's wearing. Yeah, just, just the stuff, stuff that'll help our party. <laughs> OP, OP, take the rest of the shit and sell it. But she is take the rest of the shit and sell it. Give it all to me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're a rogue, you don't mind. You want his priest pack too? You're taking everything? Oh, yeah. Are you might taking his clothes? Be, might be I encumbered. I hope he's taking everything. Yeah, he's and I'm gonna take everything that, that, that can be sold and, and maybe the next cleric we run into will need it or uh, we'll sell it. Are you... Okay, he has three silver coins and a common pair of clothes on now. The bucket? 
and I don't want... Leave him the silver coin so he can pay the uh, toll so he can cross the afterlife. Yeah, he gets one silver coin per eyeball. Okay, so he has two silver coins remaining, you will gain one silver coin. And he has a pair of okay. common clothes on. Is there anything more you would like to steal from this man before you send him on his way? Give him the bucket back and his soap. We don't want a dirty soap. Well, I don't okay. think so. Didn't, uh... <laughs> didn't, uh... No, Blaze already stole the soap. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Give him his bucket, I don't want to spit it. Alright. Take it He'll... to the afterlife. Go to the afterlife with a bucket. And some clothes and two silver. Yep. With that, the illustrious career of Athelios Mentula Magna comes to an end upon the he sandy shores of an unnamed Mentula river. Uh, oh, wait, correction. He doesn't have clothes. I did take that. You didn't leave him his clothes? No. Shit. So I'm naked on the side <laughs> of the street. <laughs> Who's carrying his clothes? <laughs> Viking death. <laughs> All right, so you just put a uh, put his dick in a bucket and go. You gonna kick him in the river? What are you doing? I'm burying him with honor. I thought we were gonna light him on fire. We'll build a pyre for him. I'll fire right. it and set it on fire. Yeah, crate okay. bonfire. Oh, we could. Uh, you know, yeah, crate bonfire on his corpse. There you go. There you go. Uh, All we're right. not that desperate yet. I was gonna say we could make some steaks out of him, but... What the <laughs> fuck, man? you all been out of town one day! What not, not, what not. I don't know if I want to party with you guys anymore. You're frightening me. I just want to Holy play, play shit! You can grab me by the tail and throw me in the river when I die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so... That I'm really will glad conclude. I moved in to stop that spider hitting you, by the way. <laughs> we hardly knew you. Uh, I would like to, you will not uh, could you all make a D&D character graveyard for me, so that I can post the dead characters? Um, Fair. I do shit. In, in Discord. Death by spider. <laughs> I'm just joking, I wouldn't do that to you. Rob by party in death. No, I'm not gonna put that there. Yeah, because it's not going to differentiate it from any of the other deaths. No, it won't. Alright. <laughs> now what do we do? There he is. And this character is mine now. Check your okay. DM, pal. Jesus. What were we Jesus saying that? Oh man. Well, at least you gave him burial there. <sighs> well, <laughs> that will conclude tonight's session. Awesome. Now Phil needs to roll a new cleric. Uh, so are we all resting now for the, before the next session, or how does that work? That's up to you all. I mean, we'll, we'll reconvene exactly at the spot here, and then continue from there. Alright. So, okay, the reason I was saying Jesus is because typically a party that I've ne Okay, let me... I haven't seen a party strip a man that thoroughly since... <laughs> since I was playing with my family, and... I can't remember who died, but my uncle stripped him of everything he had and then rolled him into a sewer. What did um, I have on me at the end? Uh, a bucket Your underwear? A no, bucket he stole everything from him. He didn't even take have a small clothes. <laughs> yeah, Blaze did. Blaze took every did. single thing from that man. It's fucked up. He so put his dick in a bucket and set him on fire. <laughs> so I even gave you two silver because I'm so generous. You ended your character's uh, your la your character's final moments before he was set ablaze. He had a bucket and two silver coins. You know, at least he ate and drank and slept well before he died. Yeah, there is that. He went out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was true. Ah. God, I really don't want to die. die.
now, now because you guys are going to be horrible.